Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into every single Black Ops 1 E-Strike solo in 2024. Obviously starting it off with the very first map, Ascension. Now, what's amazing is that Plutonium, as you can see on the top left of the screen there, is the client that we're playing on today. Because this is a four-player designed E-Strike, there's going to be slightly modified steps. And you might be noticing, what the heck is that red insta-kill right there? Well, I I am playing with a couple of updated shaders on BO1. We got a very lucky round three insta kill here. I'm gonna have enough to go right into the box. And unfortunately, this Easter egg really is just a box spam Easter egg. You really just need the Thunder Gun and the Gersh devices. And obviously, as you guys don't know, or maybe you do. The first step of Ascension's Easter egg is right there where I throw a Gersh device at that generator. And Thunder Gun I'm gonna need as well, but not for the last step. So I'm also not gonna turn on the power. The reason why, as soon as I do, the monkeys will spawn and I actually need them for an Easter egg step. And so I'm gonna just spend this hopefully getting Thunder Gun or Gersh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, the, what is this, bro? I need a gun. Oh, there it is, the Thunder Gun. Okay, one of two weapons have been collected. Uh, yeah, I should also probably shoot them nice. Oh, and death machines are very nice. This is just free ammunition, free money, free everything. Unfortunately, though, with the BO1 death machine, you cannot get rid of it. And as cool as this thing looks, unfortunately, it's just so weak on Black Ops 1. It's no wonder why they didn't put this on maps like Pluto and all that, you know, this... Zombies have no okay, respect for please personal get me something. Space. No, gosh. Uh -oh. Okay, so now it is time to dip. Okay. I... Die, die. To the of hell. Oh, my... Oh, my gosh. What a clutch. Oh, freaking... Dude, like, this is what I mean with the VO1 system, man. You really got to be dodging and weaving like that, dog. Yeah, I think, I think we hit the teddy bear here. I want to get this out of here. Okay, Spectre, I'm gonna pick up. Even though it's Kaka, the fully auto is very nice. I miss having fully auto weaponry at this point. Oh my gosh. Just get me the teddy bear dog. Oh, the L96? Are they trying to scam me? I literally have to take this. Yeah, I definitely need to rebuild these barriers though if I stand a chance. Oh my gosh. I have four bullets. Please give me a teddy. It's not a teddy. It's a China Lake. Is this the worst box luck of all mankind here? Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They literally hate me. Bro, I haven't gotten a fully automatic weapon that isn't the Spectre. Please. RPK. See, this is why we, this is why we trust fire sales. Oh my gosh! Bam the hits. Ray gun. Please just give me the urge. I can't hold F though, because if I ax. Bro, that is mad. Okay, I'm throwing this Gersh just so I can freaking get the actual heck out of here by freaking PhD, by Jug. What we need to do now is the first step of the very first Easter egg. Throw a Gersh outside the map. And chat, what's wild is that this Easter egg is 13 years old, I think, right now. Or maybe even 14. And so that's the first step. We did it correctly, and the generator gets sucked. Next step is to open up these dang doors, boy. And so the strat that I'm going to do is there's going to be a button that spawns, I think, like right here for stamina up. And then I have to go get Jug. And then I go have to go get... Oh, I don't have Jug open, do I? Oh, no. This could be bad. I don't think I have Jug open, bro. Okay, well, this could maybe be very bad. Yeah, let's knife and just double check because... I actually don't think I have it open. So here's the second step of the Easter egg. Is I have to go to this computer and activate the Illuminati symbol. Oh, no monkeys. Okay. Well, no monkeys means uh, we can hit the landers. So we're absolutely gaming. Okay. Yeah, I have enough to use the landers. See you later. This map is genuinely so beautiful. It astounds me to this day that this is a zombies map, a multiplayer map, and a campaign mission. And they all fit so perfectly in with each other. Oh, 
Bro came on there with me. Did I get a max ammo down there? I'm gonna cry if I did, because I'm not gonna be able to get it. No, okay, that was just the Gersh device going off. Okay, and it left the zombie, which is so nice, because I'm gonna be able to get that last lander over there. We can actually blow up the rocket too, which is nice because I have the ray guns. I honestly do not play enough Ascension. I feel like only OG zombie players play this map. This map was absolutely iconic. Monkeys. And then after this step, we have to stay at the pack punch area for a minute. This is the time for monkey rounds. I have like 20 bullets total. Come on, y'all. This is it. There we go. And there's the button for stamina up. So now I have 100 seconds. Next up, we're going for Jug. Jugs is right there. Wait, and I didn't get a max either. Wait, am I even going to be able to finish this? <gasps> oh, I don't think I did it. System defenses offline. No, I didn't do it, dog. I have to wait a whole other round. That is legit insanity. Yes! Okay. First button here at speed call. Let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And it's actually faster, I feel like, just to run. Okay. Okay, just go. The monkeys are stealing my stuff! Okay, and the last button is here. Yes, sir! There we go. Thank you, goodness. Thank you, goodness. PhD. And now, finally, on to the next step. Those four buttons good. spawned a clock in the pack room, which now I have to stand a minute inside the pack punch room to do Secure this. Time. There's the clock, and there is the timer now. The minute has started. I am literally the best prepared that I could be for this. Thunder gun upgraded, ray gun upgraded, and Gersh's. Basically, I can stand anywhere in the square uh, that's underneath this thing. And as long as the clock disappears, we should be all right. Oh my gosh, yeah, like I've never done, I don't think I've ever done this Ascension Easter at this late, because I usually do it on BO3 with gobbles and stuff. We are so close, about 10 seconds left, and if you can see closely, the hands on the clock are actually ballistic knights. Such a little cool added thing. I... So Gersh is going up, and we should be done there. Now, I don't think I have to do the Luna step, so I'm genuinely just going to check if I can legitimately finish this Easter egg right now. Because right now, the step would be that you collect letters in the sky that spell out the word Luna. And so, once you spell that out, then a orb should spawn on this side of the map. Theoretically, if we don't have to do this step on solo, it should already be there. And there it is. So legit, I can beat this right now. So, okay, let's literally do this. I'm going to get this trap up. Shoot that shot out, and all I have to do now is get my Gersh out, throw it out here like the step said, and spam it again. Yeah, let's see. Yes, that is the first Easter egg ascension completed on Black Ops 1. And obviously, you get the 90 second death machine, but it's more of a more of a curse than a blessing. Welcome to Call of the Dead, boys. I have never played VO1 Call of the Dead like this. Bro, this is mad. Cade with the 20 gifters. Chat, stop gifting. Stop gifting literally right now. Cade, why you have decided to give me your entire bank account? Why? Who am I, bro? I'm no Aiden Ross, Jinxie, Queso, Kai, Sinat, Rizzler, Giat. I'm sorry, chat. Literally ban me. Ban me from my own stream. I will take this like. Wanna trade STDs? No? Now with another 10 gifters? Lads, you guys are gonna be gifting for me to not pull VR11 to like eight hours into the stream. I don't know if I should. No, chat, not a no, don't do this. Don't do this now. Kate with the no! Don't do this! I'm literally just trying to do the call of that Easter egg. Oh no, it's over, chat. The stream is over. Ending stream right now. Kate with the bro, lads. If you have been dodged at this point, do not ever buy a lottery ticket ever again. Who wants a sub? Oh no, Hives, do not do this. See, Hives just wants to destroy my chat, bro. Okay, pick a number from 1 to 100. Whoever picks the right number gets the sub. Oh gosh, I'm looking for the number. Oh, I have not seen the number. Okay, let's go hit the box. I literally down there because I'm literally such an idiot. Let's go. Likes the box gives you higher VR 11 percentage if you spin the box after a certain step. Really? You're capping. Are you capping? 
Hives with the five gifters now? Oh, heck no, bro. Chat, it's over. Wrap it up. I'm gonna gas up Hives publicly on stream right now. If I didn't have Hives, chat, you would not get half the zombies content that is on my channel. Another five from Vibrant Newt, bro. What is going on today, bro? Y'all are legendaries. From the bottom of my heart, you guys are legends. Wanna trade STDs with the 20? What are y'all doing? What's wrong with y'all? With all these gifters, I have, I have to get, bro. Okay. First Easter egg step. <laughs> Turn on the power. Get the wheel. Hit that lever on the once left. I can't speak. Left, hit it once lever. Right lever, hit it three times. Okay, so now uh, we go knife the door. Any door knifers? Shot, I'm gonna do the call of the dead world record shot and try and hit all the generators with my frags. If I can do that, bro, oh my gosh, that would be insane. Like chat, did someone lose their virginity behind this door? One of the chat if you think so. And out of the Ultimus characters, which Ultimus character lost their virginity inside this door? Somebody definitely lost their virginity in this in this map. I don't know who, but I know somebody did. Like, you can't listen to this dialogue and tell me that there was just something wrong that took place in this map, dog. Okay, lads, this is where I'm gonna go uh, world record pro. It's time for Blinky Light Nikolai Generator Step. I remember watching the world record strat so i'm gonna do this with a frag i'm not even gonna buy i'm not even buy the sempex ladies and gentlemen you know how much ammo I got? oh i got it i thought for sure i didn't have it there okay we end round my gosh what a long round so let's start off with this one this one should not be difficult two three lovely i get this easier Boys, like right here? Storm. Is this the best spot to aim? Like right here? I think so. Okay. You know One, two, three. W. Okay. We did that. Was that us? Oh, no way! I landed it! Yo! Wow! I actually hit it. Wow. Okay. Next step is VR11, right? Yeah, because the thing should have spawned in. Wait, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, next step is VR11. Now I have a higher chance of hitting VR11. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Collecting your jar of hearts. Let's go, boys. I have never done this by downing with QR. This is going to be very interesting. Let's do it. I got him. Let's go! Let's go! Oh my gosh, just don't die. Oh my gosh, please don't die. Grab that golden rod and literally dip. No, VR 11, man. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yo, please! Take it, bro! Okay, that's it! That's Easter Egg! As long as I don't die, we get the wall! Yes! Let's go! GG! Call of the Dead is done! I think I'm gonna go for Bowie Knife Strat on this, on this map. I'm also gonna get Jug and a bunch of other stuff. Boys, how long do I stay in starting room? I'm thinking uh, until the M14 isn't good enough. I'm gonna get M14 for round three. Honestly, I do need to get enough for Bowie knife, so maybe I actually do stay till six. Any Shang haters? Is this a map? Is this map a W or L for you guys? I think this has to be one of the hardest maps on Black Ops One. I used to be a big Shang hater, but I mean, just look at this map, man. How can you hate it? You know. It's still a very difficult map to get to round 100 on, though. Like, I personally don't think I will ever do the BO1 round 100. Chat, should I open left side or right side here? Left of Quick Revive or right of Quick Revive? A uh, box is here, and we do need baby guns, so um, it might be looking like a left side. Should be three and a knife. Oh, yes, sir. 
Oh, that boy ain't dead. Oh, that boy ain't dead. Okay, this this guy with uh, his nipples hanging out should be one. Yeah. Oh, this is such a big double. Honestly, I think with this double, I can buy Bowie. Oh. Wow, that was a phenomenal round. I literally have enough for the Bowie. Let's go. Sword. PhD? Is this a is this a Mustang and Sally type game? Honestly, it could be. Maybe we do quick jug PhD speed cola. Shang is gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I I would like to be a little bit more set up. Like yeah, we just the frick did you just do to me? The napalm should be there. I'm gonna see if I can take him out. Oh, I don't think I can. I can't go too close to him. Oh bro. Big nuke. You know, theoretically, I could actually keep this napalm if I'm good enough. Wait, is he already here? What? Oh my gosh. I live those. Okay. Oh gosh. Who needs insta when you already have one? Jug, get over here. Thank you, God. Okay, there's actually a little chance now. Um, I do need to get Spike Morse, too. So I'm going to get that, too. Another Napalm already? Uh-oh. Okay, this one I'm really not going to try and damage. Because I theoretically could start this Easter egg. Let's go. Honestly, let's start it. Let's start it. So what's the first step? The first step is the, the tile step. But because I don't have to actually do it, I just have to go to the trigger point of where it starts. So this should work if I hit all of these. And that is Eclipse Mode. Honestly, this is just how the Easter egg should have worked solo in the first place. Uh, let's go to the sign here now. And now this should spawn them in. And then it should just finish the step. So these tiles should go away if the Easter egg mod was not lying. Uh-oh. Oh, no. They were not lying. It sounds like it's finishing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they were not lying. It just takes a little bit of time. You can hear it finish. Okay, so that step is now done. That was very easy. Uh, next step is... What is the next step? Does anybody even know? I actually forgot. Oh, is this... This is the waterfall, right? Yeah, this is the waterfall. So there should be a switch to the right side. I think I hit it. And then we should get on the plate. Yeah, okay. Nikolai gave me the quote. Did I get it? Okay, he said that did it. So now I also need baby gun. Yeah, it is time to start hitting this box. Oh gosh, I thought that was the main bomb. Please don't drop down here. He's gonna drop down here, dog. Maybe we just take him out, boys. I guess we just take him out. Oh yeah, he's sprinting. We take him out. Maybe he just sprints after a certain amount of time in this mode. You'll get it in three hits. Usually my baby gun lock on this map is absolutely horrible. Oh, I'm grabbing a ray gun or uh, where's PhD? Hey, there we go. We actually have the PhD set up right here. The og. Just things you hate to see. I'll get rid of it. Just so that, like, I have... I'm holding two weapons from the box now. It gives me a higher chance. Okay. Hey! Let's go! Lovely! Okay, so now it's time for the Meteor step. So back to Eclipse mode we go. Yes, sir. I looked into the mirror, chat. We're gonna tell you. Okay, so we grenade this. Well, actually, no, I can shoot it with a ray gun, right? Hey, yeah, let's go. We shoot this. And we knife. And we go. Bye-bye. Do I get speed cola next now? I feel like I do. And I also need enough to pack a bunch of the baby gun. So there we go. Meteor is up. It's going to drop here. I love seeing the animation of it. So that should be it for this eclipse. It's napalm step now. So actually, yeah, we do need to just grab points, grab ammo, grab everything. Is that nap? No way. Wait, where is he? I heard him spawn. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can I actually do this? Am I legitimately goaded? Am I goaded? Bro, no way am I this goaded. I'm goaded! You don't want to get too far away from him from this point because he can actually despawn. 
Ooh, too close, too close. Yeah, this step is definitely the most annoying step on Shang. Somehow, I just got this man instantly, though. I don't know how I got so lucky. Literally, I was so unlucky recording this, and now, like, I'm getting genuinely the, sh the streamer luck. Ooh. Ooh. So then once I finish all the napalm areas, um, oh, I also need to buy spike force. Hey, let's go. So that's it, right? Or do I have to hit the switch? I have to hit the lever too, right? I have to hit the, I have to go back and hit the lever, I think. Do no such thing. I'm gonna keep him alive because I can legit do the spike more step right now. Oh my gosh. Could I actually? Bro, yeah, because I can just spawn them in. There we go. Step done. Oh, look at that beautiful boy. Okay, so now it's spike more step. So for spike more step, we go over here. The F is spike more. Oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for you. So basically, they release the best version of claymores, and basically, I just have to plug these holes up. So if I take out the round here, this should do it. Wow, these claymores look sick. Yeah. Okay, and then I get two more, which I plug. One here, and then the other here. Oh, wow, these are a lot closer than I thought. Did we get that one? Yep. How about this one? Yeah, and then how about this one? Yep. And then hold that. There we go. Lovely Easter egg step. Okay, so depending on if tiles spawn in the spawn room, I believe this is dial step. Oh, no, the tiles are here. Okay, so that one's there. Uh, yeah, so there's basically tiles around the map that I have to knife. There's a bunch of them in spawn. They're very hard to see, to be honest. So there's one right here. Bro! Freaking get the dang thing! I'm knifing it 900 times, game! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is so annoying. There's one right here. Look at the pretty foot Oh yes it is. They're all over here. There's like a couple over here too. Chat, any more that I'm missing? Oh yeah, right here. Look at the Oh, here's the last time. There we go. Please give me this in time. Uh, yeah, this is one. Thank you, Nikolai. Thank you. Okay, so this one is four dots. This one is three dots. Is that it? What do I do now? Okay, I should... It should be done now. Okay, let's leave a zombie. Oh, there's a little bit too many. Bro, how am I not making any crawlers? Is there an order where you have to hit the gongs or as long as they work? I think as long as they work. Okay, so I, sh I should only have to hit this one. Hit this one. Hit this one. That nearly took off my ass! Just literally legendary. And then we hit this one. Wait, am I doing a step wrong? Okay. Wait, did they swap? Oh, maybe I am on the dial step. Wait, maybe I'm not even on. I think I'm actually still on the dial step. Wait, hold on. Okay, so this one was one. This one was CL dot. This one was three. What the frick is that? And this one was four. What, why is it diagonal? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think we did it. Let's see if the orb is there. If the orb is there, I think we did it. And if it's there now, then I should be... There it is. There it is. So now we're on the gong step. There it is. Yeah, now this should work. I get dynamite. We're able to do this. I just realized we didn't have the... The mud pit room. I really like this gong step. Why don't the chat if you're a fan of this gong step? It's really sick. There we go. Also, let's do it. This is how we shrink the meteor. I'll let you guys see it. It's such a cool step. There we go. 
Meteor shrunk. Now, oh my gosh. Run, 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 run. Look at the focusing stone. You can literally see it. Oh my gosh, how am I alive? There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. I can literally get it! Yes! Shang is done! There we go! Ladies and gentlemen, the Shang Easter egg has been completed. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Shangri-La Easter egg. It is now time for Moon. Let's go, man. This is absolutely sick. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I have Jug now. Okay, I'm playing for Jug. Oh, bro, look at these spawns. This is Jug. Oh, this is a Jug game. Board up. I'll knife the dog. The only thing you want to knife is the dog. I'll cook an aid too. Cook an aid. Cook an aid. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Mmm, gray moon. This is chat. Honestly, I have to say the one map that I genuinely refuse playing on Black Ops 1. Because not only do I need Tunnel 6 and Wave Gun, I need Gersh, then swap it out for QED, and then Gersh. Am I about to hit those freaking insane strafe jumps that Shades hit, bro? The way he was like, he was like doing stuff like this, dog. Like jump crouching. That was freaking nasty, dog. Box should be at power. It's not. Sometimes it doesn't spawn at power. But we got to turn this thing on as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, is this really a stakeout game? Oh my gosh. It's 1500 and it's so caca. How is it 1500 when it's just that caca? Is this a speed run? No, not really. How did that nade get trapped there, bro? What the? Ooh. No way I get this lucky. I literally get this lucky. That's mad. That's genuinely mad. I'm looking for the pipe. I don't actually know if the BO1 pipe locations are the same as BO3. Oh, they are. Box is in bio. We're going to bio. Now we're literally just playing for box. We need Gersh and we need Wave. I think there's a way you can get a free perk power up from these landers. It's very freaking rare, but it's possible. I'm going to pick up this death machine after I see it in the box. The pieces that all around me That was not end of round? It's round six. Go QED at box. What does that do again? Does it give you an extra spin? I could have actually brought the hacker here. I just realized. I'll throw the I'll throw it, bro. I don't know. Oh, tunnel 11. How to die 101. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. What would I what would I do without this L96 drop right here? QED, let's go. Yeah, this literally this this Easter egg is fully dependent. Oh my gosh. It's fully dependent on this on this box. You want some of my spaghetti? Nah, man. I actually don't really even like spaghetti. Dude, no, you did not. Just give me this and I can't even freaking hit the box. You have a freaking death machine. Give me anything but the dual wields. Okay. This does not please me, Doctor. What's my last fire sale hit? No, you did not. Gersh to Spass? You did not just pull that. A f you bro pulled a fast one on me. What the heck? Oh yeah, the blood, the blood. Okay, well I'm taking it, but not because I want to, because I can spin the box faster. Chat, am I the most unlucky human being of all time? It could be. Like, legit, I'm here till we get Tunnel 6 and Wave Gun and Gersh. Okay. Lads, this is such bad luck. I thought that was the scavenger for a whole second. I was almost so confused. I'm genuinely shocked I haven't even pulled either Wave or Gersh. That's insane. Oh, there we go. Where was this, like, eight years ago? Also, should I just do... I'm going to do Samantha Says while I have a ray gun. Let's just go and do it. 
Rare box L. How many times have I swapped it now? Is that three without Wave or Gersh? That's freaking embarrassing, bro. I should probably start these earlier steps though right now. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two, one. One. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four, four. One, two. Honestly, just take out this guy. One, two, four, four, one. One, two, four, four, one. Okay, and then one after this, right? Yeah, one, two, four, four, one. Four. One, two, four, four, one, four. Lovely. Bye bye. Okay, we have like two zombies. 10,000 points. If I don't get Gersh or Wave Gun here, this map is cheeky reekies, boys. Lads, do I have the worst RNG of all time? I think I have the worst RNG of all time. Am I getting scammed? <laughs> Gersh to Teddy? Gersh to Teddy! Oh I have Jug too. We win these. I'm going up top first. Okay, there's one here. Good. My mad hackthorn skill is only eclipsed by my mad scientist. What are you talking about, man? What are you, what are you, what are you talking about, man? No, stop. What is that? Give me a nuke or something. A double? Okay, I'll take that too. Pi! 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 You penis! We're waiting for tunnel six! Oh my gosh. There- I don't even have the freaking wave gun yet, bro. Like, my RNG here is low-key a little embarrassing. Oh, the rush is invigorating! There we go. Now to get back to QEDs, dog. Galil or Commando? I'm definitely a Commando lover. Galil is still amazing, though. Don't get me wrong. Galil is absolutely goaded still. And that's what I'm talking about. Speak and he shall appear. My boy Commando up in the building. Yeah, I'm not picking that up. <laughs> you you can't hit the box with the death machine up, but you can rebuild barriers. Like, how, how does that make sense? Yeah! <gasps> Finally! And Rev, you could have Trip and Little Arnie's. Well, in this game, you can have Claymores and Gersh's too. It's not like... You could have Monkey Bombs and Claymores in this game too. But like, I wouldn't say Claymores are like uh, equipment though. Oh! We got it. Do not blow up the entire freaking world. Huh? That's the first time I've ever had that QED effect. Did that even work? That was so bizarre. There are so many random effects on the QED that I would say a majority of players have never even like experienced before. Oh my gosh. How did you live the wave gun shot? Downing on moon hurts, bro. I'm going to see if the QED even did the step. Did it? It did. Wow, that's so bizarre. Okay. This is all going according to plan. Well, I literally just hoard the zombie around Login. and spam Tick. F. Like, how much time does this buy you going up there? Hopefully he runs around. Hopefully he doesn't come up where I did there. Yeah, yes he is. He's not coming through the door? No, he is. There we go, gold rod. So wait, I get all, per all perks if I do this, right? Boys, do you think I can do 25 souls without dying? Oh, boys. 
So what was that step? Basically, you just spam F at the computer and you're getting dialogue between Maxis and Richthofen. And that step literally sets up Black Ops 2 Easter eggs because in BO2, you're either siding with Maxis or Richthofen, right? And so like you get to see the full setup of Black Ops 2 really in Moon. Wait, I can pop here. You know what? I'm going to pop uh, the ray gun. I'm going to stay here until we get uh, 3k points. That should be doable. I still, to this day, don't really know how the no man's land work. Like, does it scale up depending on the round? Because, like, every time you hear the beeper, I know what that means. It means you're going up a round in difficulty. But I don't know, like, does that start on the round you're currently on? I think it does because these guys are definitely not round one zombies. No, I should not have done this. Maybe it'll give me points, though. Oh, we just spawned the red gun. Everybody get down! Do you plan to remaster any BO4 maps? Blood of the Dead is the only one I can concretely say we're going to be remastering. That map deserves a remaster that isn't complete horse caca. How do I... Hello? I need the summoning key, dog. I need Tunnel 6, this video game. Perfect. I've done this easter egg so many times. Like, I literally know that the ball's next spawn point is right here. I've also watched people do speedruns of this too, so I guess it's a little unfair. Why don't we have servants for this? Waiting for that boy to get up there. I knew I should have invented an egg-moving robot. Stupid Max is this huge. Egg-moving robot? Is that a Dr. Eggman joke in BO1? Okay, here's the other thing. How am I going to shoot this top area? I think I can use a grenade. Let's see. Wow, it worked. Oh my gosh, that's actually insane. I never thought a, a, a nade would work like that. That's freaking crazy. What the... Bro, we're almost done. Wow. We did this on such a late round. There we go. Yes, the first part is done, ladies and gentlemen. Samantha is here. Let's go. Wow, this death machine is so bad. Oh, big insta, big insta. Now it's not. Now it's not. Give me max ammo, bro. No. No, I didn't even get the fire sail. I'm so... Oh, I thought I lived. Oh. I should just try and finish this because I get a perkaholic if I do this on BO1, right? I hope I do. I don't know if that's just BO3 exclusive. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful! It's not this one. There we go. I have to place the gold rod. I have to place the gold rod. Why? I live those! Oh my gosh! There's all the perks! I have to- I, I'm spinning box. I don't even care. I'm spinning box. What happens if you pick up dual CZ? So on this client on Plutonium T5, you can see on the top right, it will crash the game. Oh, baby! No way- chat, we're done. We're done. Wow, my box RNG was mad this game. Okay, so we just do this three times, then Gersh this ball, and that's it. Three, four, two. Three, four, two, three, three. Okay, phase one is done. Let's go, baby. Next. Ready. Four, four, three, four. Four, four, three, four. Almost done BO1 here, boys. Four. Two. That's done! One more! Let's go! Four one three three one. Four one code. Four one three three one. Please stop, please stop. He hits me so fast. Three. Four one three three one three two. Three, 
three two three just three two three just three two three and we've got it we've got it in the bag yes baby ladies and gentlemen the moon solo easter egg done on vo1 let's go do not no do not i'm shooting Okay, let's see it too. Yeah, baby! Woo! Look at that. It looks so bad compared to the BO3 version. Wow. I have to say, the BO1 skybox, uh, honestly, is just... There's something about it. Like, look, is this the best skybox in all of COD Zombies? It legitimately could be. Honestly, I think I like this skybox more than the BO3 version. I have to say... Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the moon Easter egg has been completed. GG. Wow. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, GG, man. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is every single Black Ops 2 Zombies Easter Egg solo, starting with trends. Is someone good? Yay, I'm not Stoolinger or Marlton. Breath of the Wild was all right, but I have to say, y'all, Tears of the Kingdom is legitimately my least favorite Zelda game I've ever played. And that's not even me capping. That's me being fully serious with y'all. It is 100% my least favorite Zelda game. What do you think about Majora's Mask? Majora's Mask is my number three favorite game. Love that game. Oh my gosh. I would die for an open world, like, Breath of the Wild type game, but with Majora Mask mechanics. Oh my gosh. That would be literally god tier it is also lads tears of the kingdom is the first zelda game i have never 100%ed that's a mainline title that to me is freaking embarrassing dog i'm so glad that that game did not win game of the year i don't know how much money we need but we need to get emp so i guess i'll take out 30k i guess i don't know turn fog off chat do we leave fog on or off honestly i think for the egg we'll we'll, we'll, we'll keep it off we'll do it legit I just, like, I hate playing a game and feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over and over and over again for thousands and thousands and thousands of hours, and it's just not fun. Like, the reason why I like doing this in Zombies is because playing Zombies is genuinely a fun experience. Like, who would have thought? Tears of the Kingdom just felt like DLC to Breath of the Wild. It really did, man. I'm not a fan of Tears of the Kingdom. It, like, they hyped it up as, like, they were gonna fix all the Breath of the Wild problems, and to me, they somehow made it worse. Hogwarts Legacy, to me, was an L. The story was terrible. The side quests were garbage. The only fun thing about it was the gameplay. Like, the gameplay was fun, but, man, Hogwarts Legacy could have done so much better, and it was the number one selling game of 2023. You gotta think about that and be like, what were they thinking hogwarts outsold baldur's gate 3 yeah it was the number one selling game of 2023 you can literally there's there's stats the number two selling game was modern warfare 3 the number one selling game was hogwarts legacy okay box time baby could you imagine if i get emp first pull and get a world record run right here that would be literally wild skyward sword is actually so fun no i skyward sword is over hated Oh my gosh, no way. And I have an explosive weapon with a war machine. Lads, like, I'm done. I can literally do this Easter egg on, like, round six. Did you play the latest Pokemon? Horrendous. Worst video games I've ever played. People spend so much time on, like, graphics and all this nonsense that doesn't matter in video game. I would rather play a 2D Pokemon game made from, like, 1998 over Pokemon Scarlet. Those games are trash. Literally, there weren't even gyms in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Bro, remember that one gym in Pokemon Violet where you literally just, like, shoot a soccer ball into a net, I think, like, three times? I was like, what the frick is this? Lads, what was your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon game ever, I have to say, I think is Pokemon Emerald or Pokemon, uh, the one with Giratina. Platinum. Platinum, dude. Emerald and Platinum, to me, are one of my favorite those are my favorite games of all time oh gosh it just closed in it the pack one's i literally just heard it close you're telling me i could punch the sheesh out of you bro 
Okay, I literally can't even pick up the jet gun. I need to go get the stupid turbine again. Charizard is overrated too. I, I fully agree. Chat, is this an unpopular opinion? I think Eevee is actually kind of underrated. I know they made a Pokemon Eevee. I get it. But like, I think more it's the Eeveelutions that are underrated. I would say Eevee itself is overrated. But like, the Eeveelutions are sick. What's your favorite Eeveelution? Honestly, okay. Bro, who played that GameCube Pokemon game? What was it? Pokemon Coliseum? Yeah, bro. That game made me love Umbreon and Espeon. I also like the fairy one. What's the fairy one? Is that Sylveon? That one's sick, man. What's the grass one called? I don't even remember that one. I don't think anybody... Grass is just such a garbage typing in Pokemon. That's why most of the time when I play Pokemon, I never choose the grass starter. It's either always fire or water. What's your least favorite type? My least favorite type? Oh, bro. My least favorite type, honestly, I think has to be either poison or steel. Fighting? Yeah, I find fighting, bro, they usually put fighting right at the beginning. And fighting is literally usually so busted. What permafreak did I just get there? Who would have thought I'd be out here upgrading the war machine? Like, who is this dog? Okay, pack a bunch war machine. We now have our explosive gun, finally. Okay, we should end the round because the lightning is going off. Oh, round twoers. Where's my round two zombies? What side are you doing? I'm doing Richtofen. So, the next step now is just explode. Oh, no, I have to shoot the jet gun first, right? Yeah, I do. Did your monetization issue get fixed? Sort of. I got monetized, but I'm waiting for AdSense to mail me a pin in the mail. Yeah, and so, like, I literally have to wait, like, three weeks to get this pin. And I, I messaged them on the support on YouTube, and I was like, is this really the fastest way you can verify my address? And, I, and they're like, yeah, we can't do anything. I'm like, dog. It's not like I'm a new person on this freaking account. Like, YouTube's new monetization system is donkey doo-doo garbage. It was never this bad when I first started. I literally hate AdSense. It's genuinely such a terrible program. Google cannot make anything to save their life other than a search engine. They can't do a console. They can't do freaking advertisement payments. They can't do nothing right. You don't need uh, Avogadro for Richtof and just explosion kills? Oh, right. That is Maxis. Okay. So, literally, as soon as I get these explosion kills, I should be done after I get the turbine. You know what? I'll just grab turbine then. Spawns on this map are Kaka. Yeah. They're also... It is also round three. So, this dude is... Like, look how far away he is, dude. Oh, yeah. You can see it blinking and stuff. That's so cool that it changes, like, midway. Or did I get enough explosion... My turbine is still there! Oh, it's holding on by a... Br it might have just broken, actually. Oh. No way it lives. You have to EMP four lampposts? Oh, I forgot. So I think for this side, I only need to do two. Oh, yeah. I don't even need the turbine. Turbine's maxes. Oh, my gosh. Where is the zombie? This is the issue with transit. Like, it's literally just better to get past round four, I find. Transit is 12 this year. That is insane to say. Ain't no way I was playing this map when I was eight. Yeah, they uh, they be scamming us for real. What's the best Easter egg cutscene besides Tog? Honestly, Blood of the Dead was, I feel like, the first Easter egg story cutscene that actually truly started making me care about the storyline. So I, I, that is one thing that Blood does, right? Like, Blood does story so well. It's just the gameplay is so bad. They wanted to hide all that good story behind absolute nonsense. Because, like... In essence, blood could be a very fun easter egg if just certain things were changed. I could say that almost about every BO4 map, except for Alpha Omega. That, that map should just be deleted. How would I change it? So, uh, literally for a Blood of the Dead remaster, I've been thinking about this already. For sure, we're gonna change it so that the shield key gives you one ghost charge per kill instead of getting three kills to get one charge. Like, that is so... That literally doesn't even make sense. Why do you kill three people to get one ghost soul? How does that... How does, how does that literally make any sense? So, that... That already will fix so much of the Easter egg if you just need to take out one zombie per one ghost charge. Okay, so I'm gonna leave one zombie here on round five. I should, honestly, I genuinely think I have enough explosive kills. I'm not counting, but I hope I do. It sucks that there's like no visual indicator if you're not playing like as stool injured. Oh my gosh, and there's the Avogadro. Oh, 
Okay. What do you guys think? You think I'm done? I, j I can't tell, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, maybe I just wait till round switch. So the solo mod that I'm running only makes it so I have to hit two of the four EMP posts. Yeah, I think surely we have it. Yeah, I, I think I had it before. Oh, okay. Let's do it like this. Hey, we did it! Rick Toppin done! There it is. The Rick Toppin Easter egg is done already on transit. What a lovely, fast little Easter egg. We can go ahead on to Die Rise. Lovely, lovely. Let's go. Die Rise, here we go. Wow, that I'm releasing a trailer for this game literally in like four days. Let us begin! I'm not gonna do world record pace, but I'll do uh I'll do enjoyable pace. We get, did we actually get god tier RNG for this circle fire? No way. Oh my gosh, I think we did. Is the next part gonna be here? Aw, uh, we didn't get the god tier RNG. Where's that last handle part? Where can it spawn? I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's up at the power room. Do you remember how you felt when you found out Mob of the Dead took place in Purgatory? No, you do not. No, you pee pee. No, no, no. You penis! Oh. Also, by the way, if you ever wanted to learn how to speed up the elevators, you go up that thing like I just did. It literally speeds them up. It's so bizarre that two of the best wonder weapons are craftables. I know, right? Look at that boy about to get crushed, idiot. <laughs> We've already done the first step by just stepping on a symbol randomly also. That's so funny. I also need to grab the SVU. Does the SVU need to be upgraded? I genuinely don't remember. Also, I should also be going for Mahjong tiles here too. Yeah, the Mahjong tiles, I'm gonna have to actually look at and see. Uh, this one is West. So West is red, okay? Oh, I've already done two Easter, Easter egg steps literally accidentally. That's crazy. The nicest part about Die Rise, your master doll, is you will not have to part switch. Thank the Lord. Shared inventory. Should have started on this map, to be honest. I mean, transit's all right without shared inventory, but I feel like this map is just so much slower. Okay, uh, is it balls sniping time? I can just do this right here, right? I think we're on this step now, right? Yeah, we've hit the tiles. We have to be. Huh? Huh? What's going on? What? Die rise broke. Die rise broke. I was about to say. Okay, green is north. So red, west, green, north. That's what we know. There's it could also be Mahjong tiles here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Wait. Blue is east. Isn't there a website for this? I mean, maybe there is. I just know how to do this step. I can do it fast. Also, I'm going to go buy Galvas. Now we just need the order. What? Ta -ta -ta -ta. Marlton. What? Ta -ta -ta. Is it balls? Yes, it is. My ballers. Okay. Mm. Slick them balls. Mm. Okay. I was thinking for die rise. Do we just make... Oh, I'm literally dead. You know what? I'm actually going to use this to get who's who. This is the... Bro, look how big brain this strat is. I'm going to do the E-Strike strat. Because this is what... Remember when we saw the world record strat do this with who's who and quick revive? I was going to do this regardless, but I'm going to do it right now. Because I buy Galvas and then I get it back here. It's such a sick strat. I don't get to keep my guns, but for some reason you get to keep your melee weapons. Because also, yeah, your points that you spend in who's who don't count. Who's who? See, there we go. W. Lovely. Okay, that is done now. So now we're trample steaming. Yeah, and so I'm going to do the way the world record does it and literally just do it down here because as long as you do it right here it counts what trample why is it what the frick is this i've never had the trample steam just break like this what the heck is going on there we go there we go there we go there we go does that count those might not count but i mean we'll, we'll see soon enough and then lastly, I need to figure out my code. Once we get to the Galvin Uncle set, I just have to figure out my code. This Easter egg is very buggy. And like, it's only this easy because I've seen the world record strats for it, man. I would, no, I would legit have no idea what I'm doing without watching the WRs. 
I still don't even know if this is working. It, it'll just start working if it does. If it doesn't, it'll just stop. I did re-pick it up and place it down, so I don't know if this is counting. I feel like it's not counting. I feel like I would have heard a sound, you know? Like, they're not even hitting the trample seam, too. Is that not bizarre, too? Like, what? Wait, can I just grab another one? What is going on? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have to... What the frick is this? What the frick is this? Wait, none of them work! What is going on? Did I just legit break the game? Okay, so you're gonna tell me that one works. I'm... I'm... I'm befuddled, man. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, what if I just... What the frick is going on? They don't work! Okay. Wait, when I broke them, they're still there. They're still there. I'm gonna go up top and actually place it where I'm supposed to. Which is right here. Do it. Thank you. Oh my- Okay, we're done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is gonna work. This is- Okay, we're done. I, I don't know what the frick was going on there with all the dead trample steams. I have literally no clue. It really doesn't need that many zombies either. That's the thing. Oh, there. We're done. Lovely. Okay, Mojang tiles. Uh, Mojang? Minecraft? Mojang tiles. Okay, we have to find these. We have to find these. Mojang tiles, boys. Mojang! Tell me! Tell me what the tiles are, Mojang! Okay, there could be a tile here. Blue is four. So, south... No, east is last. Okay, east is last. Black is first. So south is first. So we know south is first and east is last. If we find one more, we got the code. Oh yeah, I know where the next one is. There could be one in the Buddha room here. Green three. Okay, so our code is south, west, north, east. Well, lads, we're literally done, Bert, or die rise. I mean, like, this this was this was actually faster than transit, I feel like. And it's going to be even faster on our version because the keys are going to be permanent, which is sick. South, west, north, east. Oh, so it's literally just a ring around the rosy. It should just be this. South, west, north, east. Ladies and gentlemen, die rise Easter egg is done. Easy as that, baby. Oh my gosh. Chat, do I try the uh, the door skips? I honestly, I think I'm gonna try. I've never actually done them. So you down and then hold the door. How do you do this? I don't even know how you do it. This. Oh, I did it. First try, okay, that was... What a bizarre glitch, bro. Yeah, chat, if you didn't know about that, that's this is what world records, watching world records does. Okay, we'll do it again. Because I, I vividly remember watching speedrunners doing this too. Oh my gosh. That's actually way easier than it looks. Am I really about to do this M1911? Frick it. It's super busted, but it literally is one of the coolest texts to seeing how people can speedrun this map. Yeah, it doesn't end the round, does it? Oh, bro. It's just knife. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no wonder World Record starts this off immediately. Because you just knife on round one. Wow. Like, I'm going to get literally... So I'm gonna get so many points for this. Am I literally about to do like 90% of the first Easter egg on round one? Oh, I can do it here. I'm out of nades. Oh, where's the last? Oh my. Wait, how did you give me a max ammo but no nades? What? Wait, I, I thought I was literally blessed. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. I didn't die before. Uh, let's see what our next number is. Six, four, two. Actually, really good numbers. Yeah, I don't want to progress through too many of these rounds because low-key, it's just better if I don't. I got it. Let's go. And I ended round. Oh, that's huge. I get an extra afterlife. Do I have another nade? Don't. It's so weird. It doesn't give you nades when you're an afterlife. It's bizarre. Honestly, uh, how much is this? 
Why is everything so expensive? Blundell loves raising the prices on everything. I love these jumps you can do in Afterlife. Like, oh my gosh, this map is so good. Oh my gosh, I rounds one to four on BO2 are so slow. Let's fill up docks first, and then we'll move backwards, and I'll take the gondola back. The quotes on this map, too, are so iconic. Okay, it's just six. Is this done now? Is this the six, or is it one more? I think it's, if it's not this, it's one more. Lovely. Are you going to do vids or streams on Pal World? I don't know. I'm kind of waiting to see if the hype goes away. And that's not a diss. It's just that, like, I don't want to buy a game that I won't play. Like, chat, I literally have such a bad habit of purchasing video games and then not playing them for, like, ever or years later. I will buy a game out of FOMO and then not even decide to play it. Okay, we should be able to fill up two dogs here. Yeah, honestly, I'm getting world record type drops. A double double points? And does round end here on the last Elim? Oh my gosh. I'm getting WR pace. Nador, are we doing it? Frick it, we'll do it. I'll try one more time. There we go. I love the ambience of this room. Chat, you, you know the guy that goes... <laughs> There's something about that that is just so good to me, you know? It, it just adds such a vibe to the map, you know? It's about the vibes, man. Bring that the bring back the... <laughs> guy, bro. Okay, I do need to end this round, but I want to get this swole first. What do you think of MW? Oh my gosh, no way. I'm doing this for perks and like Oh yeah, very good. I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy speed cola to be honest. Oh! That freaking scared me. Bro, what is up with my drops? I have gotten like 10 double points. What the heck is going on? Bro, how like this is legitimately a world record pace game. I don't I didn't get one carpenter. Okay, so you know what? I'm actually gonna go to PAP this round. No, this was a freaking insane first run for mob. Like, this is easily gonna be my fastest mob completion of all time. Like, I don't even have the Hell's Retriever, dog. Plane ride isn't the same without throwing the Hell's Retriever. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna come back here, guys. It's not the end of the world. I'm just doing this as fast as I can. Seeing Icarus fall is so cool. Chat, I'm shocked how many of these runs I've pulled a ray gun for. Like, it's insane. So many runs I've pulled a ray gun. <laughs> how was the ray gun against Brutus? I actually have no clue. Oh, he's, it's it's insane. Okay. I don't think I've legit ever used the ray gun on Brutus before. Boys, do we go for Hell's Redeemer? Any Hell's Redeemer lovers? We could. We could. I forgot the second chair teleports you out faster. Yeah, now we grab the Tama. Wait, do I do the strat where I get the skull from here? Let's see. Can I do it? Oh my gosh, that's so broken. I don't even know what skull that is. Like, how do you get that? Yeah, chat, if you, if you have never seen this, a lot of the strats that I'm pulling are world record strats. I don't, I think that one that I grabbed was in the, um, it, it's in the prison cell. It's in the prison cell. It's so bizarre though that you can just grab it from here. Okay, we got it. How much is the gondola? Is it a thousand or seven fifty? I can't remember. Seven fifty on the dot, baby! Oh my goodness! Also, another spot. If you guys don't know, the roof spot you can grab from here. I missed it though. Yeah, got it. Oh, Brutus! Brutus, chill! Brutus, chill! Yep. I feel like that corner spot is a little older, so most people know that spot. Big nuke, big nuke. Yes, sir. Gotta shock the spoon. There we go. It's so wild how Mob has the easiest Easter egg and Blood has the hardest. Like, I literally look through these hallways and I'm like, I just get PTSD from the Blood of the Dead steps. Honestly, most of the BO4 ones aren't even that bad either. Cade with the 10 gifters, bro. You are mad, dog. 
I am befuddled. What in your heart provokes you to do this? I truly do not. Oh my gosh, there's 20. What the frick? Chat, what's going on? <laughs> what the frick is go? What is going on? First, it was Call the Dead. Now it's Transit. Okay, I'm figuring out what your favorite maps are. Slowly but surely. I'm figuring out what your favorite maps are. Call the Dead, Mob of the Dead. What's another of the dead? I'm so sorry. Chat, are you happy now? Are you happy? My Tomahawk, are you happy? Okay, okay, that's what I thought. Brandon with the five gift. Boys, y'all are going mad out here. Do you want my money? <laughs> I didn't even ask. I didn't even ask. Oh, no. We're getting gifters on gifters. Fiber new with the five. Y'all are going crazy. Oh, my goodness. I can't even keep up. Coopster with the five. What the heck is going on? All of these gifters. Chicken boy with the prime, bro. Then Brandon with the five hundo. Oh, my goodness. Gift of the dead. <laughs> Yeah, chat, we're renaming this map. Gift of the Dead. Welcome on back, boys. We're on Gift of the Dead, boys. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are absolutely wild. Right. Right. Oh, my gosh. Right. With the right. 100. What, what are you doing, bro? You are wilding. Oh, my gosh. I literally have a saying. It says, it's about to beat my last record. What the frick was my last record? We didn't beat this on my last record, bro. That's mad. I missed I missed the gifters. I missed. <laughs> no, no, please. Oh, I hit! I hit! I hit! I hit! Oh my goodness! I hit! I hit, dude! Oh, got me hyped, bro. Oh my goodness. Laz, I don't even know what the next strike step is. I'm so. My brain is freaking bush, man. Boys, I have no idea what this next e strike step is. Lads, what's the four numbers again? Oh no. Oh no, I don't know what they are. 472. I gotta look it up. Mob of the dead numbers. Oh, it literally pops up on Google. <laughs> okay, so it's 101. Three. Eight six three eight six eight seven two and four eight one eight seven two oh goodness How do how do speedrunners do all four at once? I, I, I don't get that. What was my last one? Four eight one four eight one Bro, I thought it was over. I thought it was legit over. I thought it was dead. There's just no way I would have gotten that of time. Okay, that's it. Boys, we're on our way to beating this. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Where's the uh, where's the headphones? Oh, yeah. I miss Easter eggs being told like this, bro. This is one of the coolest Easter egg steps ever. Okay, I don't remember all the spawns for all these. Yeah, the audio is so cool. I don't even know how they do an effect like this. How do they do this? It makes you wonder. Yeah. Let's go. We're here, baby. I don't know when this Easter egg ends. Maybe I take out a bot. Maybe I actually do the afterlife step. I don't know. We'll have to see. The next one's up here, right? Okay. I'm not going to take it, but I'm going to see if I can go in it in afterlife. I have played a mod where it, you can go on it on solo and then it literally spawns in an AI that you fight. But I'm Weasel. Wait, so is it gonna is it gonna spawn in three AIs? Or did I beat the egg? Let's see. Let's I don't know. Let's see. Cause the next step should be that you go in afterlife and then go on the plane. So let's see if this is if this works. If it doesn't, then I've beaten the Easter egg. It's looking like I beat the Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, I think I've beaten the Easter egg. End the round, I mean, I'll give it a shot, but it's looking like I've beaten the Easter egg. I'll end the round just for you though, just double check. Okay, new round. I hope this works, but I honestly, I doubt it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have beaten the mob of that Easter egg. <laughs> GG boys, I'll end it right there. We have beaten 
The mob of the dead Easter egg. Boys, do I stay up on top here or do we just jump down? I'm playing Stoolinger, so I should be able to hear Richtofen, which will be nice. Ah, uh, nah. Let's get the bank. Let's get the bank, man. Yeah, chat. I'm definitely going to be needing y'all to help show me where the heck these parts are. I'm going to grab like like 35k. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. What parts do you have already? I picked up the satellite dish and the spool. Those are the only two parts I have for Richtofen's guillotine. I'm missing... Honestly, I have the guide literally pulled up right here. Where's the other ones? The crystal. Oh, yeah, the crystal's up here. And then the antenna. No, we got... Wait, where's the antenna? The barn down... Oh, it's in here. Totally forgot about that. So we need time bomb and paralyzer. Just maybe... Because I could get perma burp from a box actually oh yeah i just got it okay so I, I don't know how i got it okay this will definitely help out with my lock for sure i pull time bomb paralyzer fast now or literally the whole ray gun mark too give me the paralyzer i need it okay time bomb wow honestly the the box this teddy bear perma perk makes it so much more enjoyable to play this map Oh no, you can't be giving me this bad luck right here with the with the teddy bear firma perk. Oh, okay, there we go. W, we got it. Okay, the antenna is right here. And the crystal is literally up there and I'm just gonna use my paralyzer to get it. And the next step, next step is powering the red orbs. That I can easily do. Okay, and then this rock here, lovely. Can I get Mark II skip? So chat, funnily enough, I don't know if you knew this. Some people actually don't, but like the Boom Hilda effect works on Buried with the Mark too. Like you see, I'm like literally like getting propelled like this. It's sick. Try getting around 100 on Buried. I already did, man. Check it out. Leroy has some fresh kicks for real. Wait, how how cap are you right now? Leroy, what in the what world are those, man? Bro, how, how do you get those kicks, man? Bro, those kicks are probably like 200 years old. Knowing the lore where he was at Derizendrak, and he's from like 1800, those kicks are for sure 200 years old, without a doubt, in my mind. Okay, that was done. They're on backwards. Bro, look. Bro, they're high tops. Wait, Leroy, you got fashion? Bro invented the high tops in 1800. What the heck is going on? Bro legitimately invented the genre. Those could legitimately be Tim's. Leroy iced out. I mean, I didn't expect it. You guys told me to check out his kicks, but like, I didn't expect it like that. Okay, and then the last orb spot that I remember, I think that's all of them, is the one past the witch's house. Rob Leroy. You know what's wild to me? That we've never had a zombies map where you get equipment on your feet like you never get new shoes in a zombies map has there ever been a zombies map where you get shoes i don't think so how have we not seen that idea in like 50 zombie maps okay and then this should be it here okay next step lantern usually i think i see it, it usually spawns at this region look at the yas here that was the wood don't look at the Aussie. <laughs> Don't look at the. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say. Uh, and then what do we have to do? It's Witch Souls, right? For Richtofen? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's back to the witches we go. It's 10, apparently. So let's see. Okay, one. Two. Wait, I'm getting my nades back too. Wait, what the heck? I never do that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be it. So now it's code time. Okay, we can legit do this next step. Boys, any of my code deciphers, we're gonna need you here. I do not know the the code here okay um the first letter is b on this top row here this is an l and this is a this is a c b l c let me just see if i can find a b l c up in here b l c b l c or is it b l t no no that's a sandwich okay there's l 
Let's see. Okay, so L, C are here. Where's B? <laughs> Big long cock. You did not just say that on my chat, fam. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be a little bit long. So here's the other thing, though. When do I throw down the time bomb for this step? I think it's just... We don't need the time bomb for here, right? Oh, I need Galvas. That's why I need... I was like, when do I need Galvas? I was like, I know I need them. Now I know. I was like, bro, I know for sure and buried. I'm going to need these Galvas. I knew it. Or I'm going to do up to Cold War. Here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, shot. I do this. Where's the hole? Oh, can I do this? Yeah, so pretty much they want you to run in like a specific route. I get it. No! Oh, wait, no, no, okay. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Next one. I wonder how much stronger they become when you do it like this, too. I'm not even gonna grab that nuke. Bro, how, how are they gonna give me anyone but the zombie that I'm hoarding? Okay. I will grab that nuke after we get this next kill. Nope. Okay. 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 So oh, now it's time time bomb time. Eggs. So I just, I just activate it, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Infinity. Misty, please. Misty, please. Misty, please. Misty, please. Frick you, Misty. Here. Rusman! Rusman! Thank you, God! Thank you, God! Finally! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, finally, it's the worst step of all time. Oh my gosh. Finally! I have to, oh, I have to do the switches in the main step! This is literally just RNG now. I legit could be stuck on this step for a whole hour. I have to click four switches in a particular order. It's like literally chat, this is genuinely luck. This is luck. Bro, if I get this first shot, I'm gonna go nuts. Okay, so blue, I'm gonna try and make a no. Cause basically this is up to deduction. Blue, green, red. I definitely didn't get it. I don't know where yellow is either. Oh, is yellow there? No. What? No way! No way! No way! Oh my gosh! Bro! Bro, my heart is beating. What the heck? I'm going- I have to do this Make-A-Wish. It doesn't just instantly finish the egg now. The way I finish this egg is I have to shoot 19 shots on Sharpshooter. So I don't really know this candy shop spot well, but I actually- I do know the witch's house well. I think we do it now. Yeah. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I should have it now. Really yes! We did it! Burry done! Easy! Let's go, man! Bro, what a run this was! Wow! Some of the RNG I hit is insane, bro. Wait, I can do it? What the heck? Wait, how am I able to do it without the navs? Bro! And we get the dialogue! Finally, I'm dead. Let's go, boys. We did it. Super E strike done. Wow. There we go. Like, try not to break your monitor, bruh. They can't think that I'm that bad. Is that it? No! Ah! There we go, gaming. What? Why the fuck that takes so long? I don't know how, but that ending's gonna be fucking fire. What is this? Is this that mobile game ad?
Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. oh, chat, this club's funny as fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was oh, wiping oh, some oh. shit off. Pause. Yo, one in the chat. This is how uh, Treyarch make Call of Duty Vanguard. One in the chat. Chat, I hold them Exiting the area. The operador se ha cerrado inesperadamente. Si esto no se esperaba, visite el sitio web oficial de Microsoft. I don't know what this is. So I know I'm gonna be sad, chat, if I do. Fuck this video. Fuck this video. Hey, good morning, Kanye. Good morning. Chat, am I getting this first shot? Oh, I only have one. Oh, no. Chat, I only have one. I didn't even realize. He know they're toting black Five, four. Oh! I don't even think I clicked it. It happens on plutonium. Oh, it's a plutonium thing. Oh, I did not know that. Wait, so chat, so should I hit it on like four? Oh, that's the one I was about to say. I was like, bro, that's the fucking one. This is it, chat. I'm punching these fucks. Come on, focus. Oh, there we go, chat. Nice, ooh, nice, ooh. Chat. And see. Any second now. Oh, any second. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Your big ass combo. Hey, two hours on the dot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is every Black Ops 3 Zombies Easter Egg solo, starting with Begin. Shadows of Evil. You better the mark your curse, okay. Freckleson, uh, Shadows of Evil Easter Egg World Record, open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. Run back, run back, run back, run back. Four hours is enough time, it's not enough time, man. He, he doesn't have enough time, man. He doesn't have enough, he doesn't know what he's doing, he's not speedrunning, he's not speedrunning. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do something nasty, you've never seen this before. No, 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 I, 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 never mind, never mind. Why they gotta do me like What's that? Wrong? Oh my gosh, bro. Lightning at my fingertips right now. Lightning at my fingertips, bro. It's just lightning. It's non-stop. He doesn't stop. He doesn't stop. Oh, if I would've hit that. If I would've hit that. If I would've hit that. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Chat, I know the Black Ops 3 Easter eggs like the back of my hand. I take out blood. I take out the Margo with just the Bloodhound and double tap, bro. There we go. Bro, the... Am I going to be able to take out a Margla with the Bloodhound? There's no way. Oh my, is this thing that powerful? Oh my gosh. Like the fact that I just took out a Margla with the starting pistol and double tap. You literally can't even make that up, fam. Waterfront. Okay, chat. Remember our symbols. We're not Easter egg speed running this. We're just gaming. Let's do it. Big. Biggie. We got big up in here. Big arrow. Big arrow. Big arrow. Big arrow. Double double! We got a big double double! Big double double! That's a that's a bro. I'll take a big double double any day. Do I? Oh, I don't even need to do the last symbol. Oh, but I can. Oh, he's cheating. He's cheating. This guy, did you just see that? This guy's cheating. Benson. Perk up. Oh! I need it. I need it for the KRM. For the KRM. For the KRM. What do I have to open up now? Canals. Uh oh. I literally love this song. Get the grapple! No, I couldn't get it. Dude, you're not world record pace. Restart, dogs. Chat, I can see the symbol right here if I jump, right? We had big, double. Is that another big? That might be a big... Oh, that might be a... I don't know what that is. I see the big arrow. Maybe I go in beast mode. Maybe I go in beast mode. Yeah, you know what? Hold on. I can probably see it better in beast mode. You jump higher in this mode, right? It's big something. It's big double? Chat, is it big single or big... Wait. Or is it just big? I can't tell. Chat, I'm gonna do the world record pop strategy. Literally, this is what they do. This is what they do. They open it one up, and then they wait, and then they go... Burr. Oh, I almost failed there, bro. And then they go... Burr. Burr. <laughs> I tried. I tried. There was, a, there was an effort. There was an attempt. There was an attempt. I almost... I was a little bit too early. I was a little... I was just a tad... Just... Just a tad too early. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Speedrunners really do anything to save that one frame. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, boys, you ain't seen these type of runs anywhere out there, bro. Let me tell you. 
Oh, that other death machine is gone, bro. Bro, that Mark was saying, oh, you got a death machine? I'm turning around, boy. Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop messing around. Let's actually get through. Okay, so we know it's big. We know it's double. It's not big double, but we know it's not big double. Oh, no, chat. Big single bingle. I think it's actually big single bingle. Is it really big, big? I'm going to be pissed if it is. There ain't no way. It was big, big. It was big, big, fam. How could they do this to me, Chad? He's throwing. He's throwing. Streamer's throwing. It's double, double? I forgot. He's prolonging the video for content. Bro, I'm trying to get season pass on PC. No shot, it's $50. Welcome to the world of modern gaming. Chat, let me introduce you guys to a wild concept. Imagine grinding a battle pass and getting a battle pass that you don't have to pay for. There's no way. Did he just, did he just say that? A battle pass that you don't have to pay for? There's no way. This guy could be onto something right now. I, that might, I'm, I'm, the idea chat, it might be too out of this world. I'm sorry. It might be too out of this world. I, I, I just, I think people don't see the vision. Epic ruins everything, but sometimes... Why is playback paused? Because my account is being used in another location. Chat, are you watching YouTube on my account? Somebody's on my account. We're just watching YouTube videos. It is what it is, man. You gotta pull up some good old tube whenever you can, you know? Okay, so we got the sword. Okay, I love spawning in Marvelous. Chat, do I build the civil protector? Because I'm a bad Shadows of Evil player. Build Ted? Bro, if only I could, man. Bro, okay, chat. Genuine question. Ted, bus driver versus Amargua. Who wins? I think Ted. I think Ted might take that. Legit, I think that's a fair assumption. Honestly, does Ted solo the entire zombie verse? He could. What's better than a bus? Okay, I need to just do about the story here. Sheesh. Honestly, the Shadow of Evil Sword is one of the coolest weapons in zombies. Like, just look at this thing. This is such a cool looking weapon. It's wild that like we've, I feel like we've never got a weapon as cool as this, ever. Is Death Machine even better than KRM? I don't even know. Uh oh. Oh wow, it kind of is. Bro, like you just like kind of instantly just take them out. Wow. I mean, it's pretty goaded. Can't lie. Okay. Got that sword. Yes, sir. Oh, the sword looks different. Yo, we got to check that out. Yo, did you see the sword? Oh, my gosh. Bro, what was that? Was that from, like, Doom Eternal? I mean, like, here in the headlights. Oh, uh, yes, he did. Let's go to Waterfront, actually. Let's do that one first. Wow! This is insane looking! Okay, I can't do damage to him. Wow, that actually looks so insane. Look at the sword floating too. That sword actually looks so sick. I respect your zombie opinion so much, but you, don't you think that making a brand new zombies like game is a bit too much? Why not stick into BL3 mods? BL3 mods is limited. I would have, but the thing is, is I've realized how limited the game mode actually is. And I think that has ultimately made me decide that, yeah, I should go towards Fortnite. Okay, because chat, here's the thing. Would you rather use a 2015 year old engine from Call of Duty or Unreal Engine 5? Could you imagine COD Zombies on Unreal Engine 5? First person, Unreal Engine 5, like... Dog. Look at him standing there menacingly. Literally almost done. We're on the last flag set, and then we're literally ready to move on. Man, they really got you focusing in on these flag steps, man. Knife to Shadow Man in the balls. Yep, chat, we're about to do it. Can I just go right into boss and start it now? I'm gonna see if I can hit it to pull a death machine. Literally just... Oh, and even the keepers have the swords, dog. That is so sick. Oh my gosh. There we go! SOE done, baby! Let's go! Lovely! In the Noir Filter 2. Genuinely a W experience. I love I loved it with this mod. We'll end it there. GG! Shadows of Abel is done, lad! And we're gonna go slow, obviously. We're not gonna go like insanely fast. Slow is better, man. 
Okay, so we need KRM. So let's actually go and grab KRM. Honestly, Tram, pull me a nuke. Also, this cap camo. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Chat, I'm doing lightning bow. I would do another bow if I had more time, but like, unfortunately, I don't. Bro, somebody's gotta copyright the Bible. They're copying COD zombies. Isn't it theoretically like proven that the, the lightning bow is the fastest now? W aim. Do we hit those? We hit those! Oh, this guy's a DE legend. We hit those, dogs. Okay, and then this last one, literally, I don't even care if you get it first try, because you just spam it. So this one, you literally just spam it like this. There we go, bud. Chat, how many times have you done the DE Easter egg? I genuinely think I have done this Easter egg probably over 200 times. Like, no lie. Like, I remember when this map first came out, I was doing this Easter egg multiple times a day with Codename Pizza for Myth Busting. It is actually, like, insane to think about how much I've overplayed this Easter egg. Pat has never played Ancient Evil before. Bro, chat. One in the chat, if you would love for me to do a stream where I introduce Pat to BO4 Zombies. I would freaking, I would love that, bro. That would be so much fun. I wouldn't get him to play the Garbo maps. I probably would get him to only play Chaos. Start him on Alpha Mega. I could never, I could never do him like that, bro. No, I would start him on 9. I would do the 9 Easter egg with him. I would do Dead of the Knights Easter egg with him too. And I would do Ancient Evil. And I would do classified. Mm, blood is, I don't know. Maybe not blood. And maybe Tog. I think I'd skip Alpha Omega for sure. We're skipping Alpha Omega. I don't think he will do that. But I would just love for, I'd just love to do one stream where he just plays the maps. In pursuit of same goal, I fear oh, that's too low. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. There we go. Oh. How was that? Oh my goodness, I'm hitting these ones on top, baby! You still living in Canada? Yes, but I got my US visa, so I'm able to go down to the States anytime. Chat, I'm... Boys, I don't want to get y'all's hopes up, but there may be a chance that I live close to Matt and Jack in California. Chat, by the way, O Jumpy is the guy who made this mod, and guess what? O Jumpy is also the person in charge of the Die Rise remastered pap camos. So, if you're gonna wonder why they're so goaded looking, it's because my man is a legend. Yeah. Okay, this next one has to either be clock or spawn. He made mob bridge survival. No, that was actually hives. Are you bricked up right now? Unfortunately, I'm as I'm as flat as a flat tire. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, dokie, pancake. I don't even want to think about. That's the worst thing I've ever heard, dog. DLD! Any DLDers? My DLDers. My DLDers. Oh, right here. Yep. Okay, last one has to be Globe. Oh, it's not here. Oh, it's power. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to open it. It's just going to give me the same cutscene. Oh, frick. I forgot you have to do the step first. Lex's forehead is the light in this dark world for real. I mean, I would not have gotten through without it. Okay, we got another code. R-O-D. Rod. Any rods in chat? Boys, I have some crazy ideas. Honestly, some of them are freaking sick. One in the chat if you've ever played a game called Hades before. So that game, in my opinion, has so many cool mechanics that I feel like zombies could take in. Like permanent stat buffs and like the heat system where it like makes your game harder, but you get better rewards. Some other ideas I've had are like pets in the game. Like, you know how everybody loves Luna? Bro, add more pets into the game. Maybe even like certain abilities, like magic. And like, not necessarily like 
gobble gum, but like buffs that help you out. So many different stuff like that I feel like could fit perfectly into COD Zombie. Like different boss fights. And imagine you could scale the difficulty of boss fights. And then also after you scale them, you like get different rewards. You could get like one of a kind rewards, right? Stuff like that to me is where the gold is. Is it worth getting BO3 in 2024? I would say. There's so much great content on this game. I feel like buying BO3 at full price is better than buying any game released in 2024 at full price. If you have seen the original Zombies Chronicles trailer, I literally had the guy that remixed the audio for that trailer email me, email me, my business email, and has made Die Rise round change sounds. So chat, Die Rise Remastered has official sounds from former Treyarch employees isn't that freaking insane oh my gosh hire jason please i cannot he works at sony do i look like i have the budget to hire triple a studio director jason blundell no i do not <laughs> No, I do not. He barely had enough money doing his own studio. I am very excited to see what they come up with. But the thing is, is like, I don't think we get to see new Jason Mundell's new project until like 2030. Rev Deviation Games. So this is the thing, chat. Deviation Games is still around. The thing is now is that it's pioneered by Dave Anthony. And so whatever comes out of Deviation Games, in my opinion, won't be the true original vision that Blundell had for the game. But I'm gonna buy the deviation games game no matter what a hundred percent i want to see what the frick the game was but like am i expecting it to be a god tier video game probably not what happened to jack lm he works for his uh, he works for a youtube channel a music youtube channel now i don't think he does youtube himself okay boys boss fight time let's get it the first official treyarch boss fight and honestly for de to have that it's pretty sick Chat, do you think this boss fight has gotten easier or harder over time? Personally, I think it's definitely gotten easier. And I think zombie players have also become a lot more skilled. There we go. Oh my gosh. It's going to be close. Get him charged, brother. But look how freaking close it is. I can do it. Give me more zombie. Ooh! I actually got to it in time. Wow. Uh, how much have you spent on Gobblegums? I've said this before. Noah J and I have probably spent enough on Gobblegums to literally buy a freaking car. Black Ops 3, man. What a different time it truly was. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the Keeper boss fight done. DE is complete, baby. There we go. Hey, DE done, baby. Let's water some plants. Any plant waterers? Oh, I hope I get some good challenges. I forgot. Zetsbo is really dependent on your challenges here. Five webs. Power. Oh, even better challenges this game. Good thing I reset, actually. Was I the only one who found Dr. Gray from Cold War hot? Am I alone? You should be. You should. You, you absolutely should be. Dude, I love when men would sing with their voice and now they just talk into a mic and rhyme. I agree, bro. Whoever made people think that singing is cringe in rap music is actually the cringe person. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're the actual cringe people. It's sad Jack hasn't posted any mu new music. He has told me and Matt that he said that he was going to do it apparently in 2024. But I said that in 2023, it didn't happen. I said that in 2022, it didn't happen. So let's hope 2024 is the year. So I'm just going to grab this and then literally hit the second anywhere but here. Anywhere but here gaming. Wow, great ABH. Uh, wait a second. Let me go see what my challenges are again. I've done one. What are the other two? Obtain a power up eight spiders. So I need to start watering. What's the easiest way to get a power up? Should I just do like a perk power up? Should I just get a perk? Or do I just plant seeds? I don't know. This is probably my least favorite step of Zetsubo. Knife every cocoon. Find part. You usually never find it also until like the last couple. There it is. Okay, let's finish this up. Zets is honestly my favorite map. Chat, I have literally seen more and more people rank this map as their number one favorite zombies map. 
I'm not even joking. Like, is that not insane to think about? I definitely would not put this map at top number one spot. But I think this map is still very good. The hate for it when it came out was unwarranted. I personally don't think so because this map on launch was terrible. It was so broken and buggy. I don't think the hate was completely unwarranted. I do think that now the hate is unwarranted because they've actually managed to make it like a very fun and enjoyable experience. Oh no, I have to do the paper first. Dad, no. Also, I'm not going to even hit that door yet. Wait, maybe I can. Do I have enough time? I might have enough time to hit all three. Oh, it's going to be close. 45 on here. Uh-oh. Run! Oh, gosh. I hope I have enough time. I think I do, though. Is bro having spaghetti for dinner? Chat, I don't know. So I'm going out with my friends today. I don't know what I'm going to have. Chat, what do you think I should have? I'm honestly feeling a steak. A lovely steak would go hard. All right. Something I'm actually trained. <laughs> zip lining up a zip line. Let's go, baby. Put that boy down. Come on, spiders. I know you want this cage. Look at that yummy arm in there. I know you want that cage. I know you want it, my friend. There you go. Yeah, and now we gotta just spore them. Yeah. It's wild how effective the spores are. Wow. Who's your favorite character in Zombies? It really used to be Maxis, but I literally don't like him anymore because of how he got treated in BO4. Like, I always thought the intrigue of Maxis was so sick, and then they just ruined his character in BO4. They legit made him terrible. Ah, uh, that genuinely makes me sad, to be honest. Get yeah. that rainbow. Differini. Actually, just ABH. Oh, bloody brilliant ABH. Oh, look at that beautiful pap camo too, man. Sheesh. I, I, that's uh, gotta be one of my favorite things about this mod is that they change up all the pap camos and they look god tier. Beauty, beauty, beautiful. Let I me mean, just look at that BMPG. Sheesh. Ah, yes. Plants. There we go. Okay, now we need, just need blue water. Our soldiers round robin this. Lovely. Bullet. Wow. I just need to power up. 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 Hey, I got it. Nice. Wow, I got it. I love that you're able to get it after it strikes if you're not there. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, chat. Let's see if I can get this. Hey. I've definitely gotten better at that step over the years, man. Nice. Okay. What am I missing? Can I upgrade KT4 already? Oh, yes, I can. Chat, we're literally boss fight ready. Thoughts on Overwatch's fall off? It will never recover. Overwatch is fully dead. Activision Blizzard is gone now. Microsoft's laying off so much of Activision Blizzard. O Overwatch is dead. It's over. Legit, like, I've never seen a fall from grace as hard as Overwatch. And genuinely, it's so painful. Overwatch 2 literally got a new screen layer. It's, it's just like, dude, Overwatch 2 is literally the best game to describe what actually Activision does to a successful franchise. Literally, it is the perfect game to describe how Activision literally destroys IPs. Destroys them. It, it just, you know what's so funny? It all boils back down, in my opinion. The Game Awards Call of Duty comment that the God of War actor made. Dude, the fact that people got pissed at that truly goes to show that, like, those are COD players that don't know how other game developer studios are treating other players so much better. Call of Duty deserved that at the Game Awards, and if anybody doesn't think so, they're absolutely wrong. Let's go, chat. Let's get it. Like, this boss fight is genuinely so easy. It's literally just run around in a circle, shoot the KT4 every once in a while, use the skull. The hood wants Nuketown zombies. Well, tell the hood Nuketown zombies doesn't have an Easter egg. 
skull is so good for the boss here too because it just it deletes everything thrashers spiders easily one of my favorite specialist weapons ever is it done oh yeah there it is there we go that's about done baby Sheesh. no mega wall bruh i'm not gonna die man Rick Toffin, don't find Nikolai. Can I be honest, Rick Toffin? I don't think you want to find Nikolai because if you find Nikolai, what's going to happen is that Voyage of Despair is going to happen. Blood of the Dead is going to happen. Alpha Omega is going to happen. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. You don't want to put that into the world, dog. Bro, Mark Three, Rega Mark Three. Come on, man. No, don't put the Groth. Uh, they put it at spawn, didn't they? Bro got hacked midstream. Chat, that actually has happened to me once. Chat, okay, this is so OG. One in the chat, if you remember when I got hacked on Twitch while live streaming. Bro, this was like 2016. I vividly remember it happening. I kid you not, they made me write a name on my forehead to get my Twitch stream keep. I kid you not. I'm 100% telling you the truth. This was like when I first started on Twitch, bro. Like genuinely, this was so old. I don't even think Der Eisendrak was out at that time. Got any tips on how to make GK appealing to casuals? Um, that's a tough one. Maybe bring them through the Easter egg. They might like that. But I think casuals usually don't like Easter eggs. Chat, am I getting carried? Bro, this guy's getting carried by the Groth modules, bro. Oh, why am I throwing monkeys? I was about to say, if I missed... BO4 or IW? Chat, that's actually a great question. What are you saying? BO4 zombies or IW zombies? That's a great question. I, I say this. IW zombie mechanics are better, but BO4 maps are better. Does that include Voyage? Oh, yeah, and Voyage. No, no, no. Voyage. Chaos or Ultimus? Ultimus 110%. Chaos doesn't even hold a candle. Okay, um, you came a little early. You came a little early. There's no zombies! There's no zombies. There's no zombies. There's no zombies. Dragon, there's no zombies here. There's no zombies. You came a little early. You came a little early. Chat, is the dragons on Garod Krovi looks maxing, boys? I think these guys look max. Or 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 what about or what about the Origins robot? Is he mewing? He could be mewing. Look at him. That guy's mewing 100 percent There ain't no way a dragon is not coming right now to literally flame on me right now. To premature adragulation. I'm joined and I hear that. Sorry, what? Uh, basically, I need the dragon to come. That's correct. Chat, he's premature adragulating. He's premature adragulating. There we go. That's uh, premature adragulation. Let's begin. Ghost? Wait, what did you just say in chat? Ghost pepper chicken fries? W or L? Is that a real thing? Chat, are ghost pepper chicken fries a real, in real life thing? Is that from BK? Love it with gobbler sauce? Am I in a different dimension? What are y'all talking about? Okay, I'm papping PPSH. What's my double pap gonna be? Oh, look at the look at the camo of the mods camo on this. Oh, that is very yummy. I'm too poor to use the MG42. Are you joking me? Wait, can I get money from the barriers? Please tell me God. Tell me there's a God. I do! Let's go! I got, I got the challenge. 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 Like, you kind of look like Drake. Is he tapping or is he spitting? Look at this! Look at this! Where's my Rega Mark III, bro? Oh, it is so over. Oh, it's so... It's chat, GG. GG. Wrap it up. Wrap. It is absolutely over. Oh, no, guys. Winnable, winnable. Trial completed. Winnable. People killing, people dying. Manglers take a bajillion points. I am going to freaking die. I have no idea why. I am Red Street, please help me. Oh my goodness, I will die. Where's the mangler up in this gameplay? Where is my game? Green light? Oh, what is this again? Armory? Armoria! Ad Maria! Now we find green light, green light, green light, green light, red light, blue light. Bro, watch green light be at dragon command, like a, like a little. Mm, look at him, look at him. Infirmary one, tank station also one. 
Already at one! Bro, if, if tank station's at one, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, it's at three. I did something. Okay, uh, what's next? Armory is my endpoint. Department one, supply three. Uh, department is one. Are you kidding me? They're all done! If supply is at three, I'm gonna be livid. I'm just gonna check if it's already done. Can I just pick it up? What? What is this? What is this? How many did I do? One? I think I moved one dial. No lie. One dial. What kind of WR pacing is this? Okay, chat. If I get bomb set, I'm gonna literally cry. Don't do it. Don't do it. What a literal... The amount of times Max Ammo has F'd me over in this step is sad. Oh, yeah, bro. Well, that's why I don't run for Kaholic for these trophies. Is because Widow's Wine is more of a hindrance in this than an actual blessing, in my opinion. Okay. Die. Die. I don't like playing this map without a shopping tree, to be honest. You're just able to get through to the actual content of the map so much faster. Even just with one shopping tree. You know? Alex! Wow, we killed that, bro. That was a great bomb step. And we ended at Dragon Command. Why are we actually getting pretty good pace in this game? What can we do for Activision to listen to the Zombies community? Make a better game than Activision ever will. And then maybe one day they'll actually compete if there's a good Zombies title. Legitimately, that's the only way. One in the chat, do you agree? The only way we get Activision to actually listen is by making a better title ourselves. Are you actually gonna work on a game for us? I'm not gonna work on a new game because I don't want to get investors involved. I don't ever wanna do that. What I am thinking of doing is making a really good Fortnite server though that has round-based zombies. That's what I really hope. Cause dude, I think legitimately you can make a Fortnite server with a better round-based mode than some official zombie games. Okay. Chat, it's time. Thank you GBK for the prime. Let's get it. Meanwhile, FNAF has like a million fan games. I know, right? It's not bad. Chat, is it time? It's boss fight time. Zero downs? No, one down. Oh, I did not mean to click that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, boys. Boss fight time. Let's go. I probably should have got him a new shield, but it is what it is. Bro, monkeys for this Easter egg are so nice. I can't lie. I got it, right? I guess I did. Wow, like you do not have to shoot many shots with the Ray Gun Mark III for that to work. That is literally it. Boss fight done, let's go. One more boss! And I have idolized for this. Let's go. Come on, Nikolai! Rick Toffin, just stop yapping, dog. Oh my god. It's just too easy with that gobble gum. It's so easy to take him out. Like, you don't even need that gobble gum. You can just use it in plain sight. Like, well, GG, GK. Let's go, baby. <sighs> Chat. This is not right. This is not right. True. Nikolai, you literally have a quote of it and they didn't add infinite ammo in BO4. Would you say BO4 is worth playing in 2024? Chat, what do you guys think? I think it's worth it, but be prepared for every map to be a massive learning curve. There's like two casual maps on BO4 and that's classified and... Sorry, there's one casual map on BO4. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. No, like every other map... Every other map is like a massive learning curve, dog. Oh, Arnie's W. Would you believe me if I said the first time me and my friends did the E here, we never clicked the book for the last step and had to restart? God bless your soul. I'm so sorry. Okay, we got Thunder Gun. And Fister! Hey! Keeper! Is he DJing? He's DJing. Okay, DJ no J up in the house. We just gotta protect him. He's crafting bangers. Don't worry, lads. He's crafting bangers. He's actually cooking. Look at him cook. Let him cook! Let him cook! Chat, somebody's gotta make a meme with the keeper protector. Say, hold up. Let him cook. Look at him cooking. Yeah, like, I do have to say the upgraded Arnie is definitely very weak. It's very weak. I agree. Thanks, thanks for dropping your mixtape, fam. Really appreciate it. 
No! Why did you appear, you belligerent? Okay, I think I have to restart this step when you get out. You do have to restart the whole step when you leave the apostle, right? Is that how it works? Okay, so if, if the step did reset, then I have to, um... I have to do the first three holes again. But if it didn't, I sh after I take out these marbles, I think I get the disc. But I think it did reset. Oh! It did no such thing. It did no such thing. Bro, I, I, one of my least favorite steps on this isn't even the bone step. It's the egg step, bro. There's like 40 different egg spawns. It's like, it's actually insane that they make you do this. Did I really get this bone? No! I missed the shot. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I can shoot the shot from back here. Yeah, I got it there. Okay. Any day now. Any, any day now. Am I not on the step? Oh, no, I have to put it in the thing. Oh. Legitimately, we love putting the tapes in the reels, in the reels, in the tapes. I knew I was something, doing something wrong. Criminalities, man. I love them. I'm actually... He does One Piece and eight Hunter videos. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think this arc that he's doing is the worst arc. I don't see the vision. I definitely do not see the vision. Like, I've tried watching videos, trying to understand it, but I do not see the vision. Oh. So yeah, if I had super Easter egg, you place the like bright orb on the Samantha box, which ends up being the Togger Totem special grenade. And then you get pack punch weapons and the katana, which is pretty sick. Why are you so pretty? I genuinely can't tell if you're capping. But let me tell you, man, it's 100% not genetics. It's all RNG, bro. Chat, is good looks RNG? Bro, some people just spawned on Earth with better RNG. It's lit it's lit it's just better RNG. Some people got some people got the better RNG, some people don't, man. I don't know. Some people hit that like one to one RNG. Some people still be struggling. They got a I'm feeling lucky in the womb. Yeah, I think you're right, dog. What does the G and RNG stand for? Stands for genetics. Right there. There are my egg havers. What a I don't like that noise. I don't like when you pick it up and it goes. <laughs> Legit, I'm about to get the freaking god mask in here. I'm like taking out every single type of enemy. This is mad. Like, I'm pretty sure I've gotten the spider one, the Margo one, and the panzer one. All I need now is the keeper one, the zombie one, and the fury one, I think. There's another panzer? Why? Who are you? Okay. Uh, two, two, three. Two, three, four, one. I need the one with the balls on the bottom. Give me the balls. That's not balls. Give me the balls. That's okay. Those are balls. There we go. Three, four. Oh my gosh, that was pretty sick. This one's so annoying because the Marvelous can just run into the wall over and over and over again. Holy, oh, almost got genuinely bullied there. Oh, honestly, this is my favorite challenge just because like the double jump they needed to add more of this in zombies like these type of cool Double jump mechanics. It's literally embarrassing. There's no zombies map that plays like this the whole time I feel like that would be so cool. like DE is like the closest but not even that are similar to moon With like low grab and stuff that absolutely slap. Take so much damage this step, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, summoning keyers. Let's go. What's your favorite music genre other than rap? Um, 70s. Ah, oh, gosh. Um, I know that might be criminal to hear. G4s. When did I get that? Wait, what? Like, the DG4s don't even fit this map. 
Okay, that is news to me. Lads, we're about to beat the BO3 Easter eggs. All of them, boys. Let's go. Is it done? How do you tell when it's done? Is it done now? Now it's done. No. No. No, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No, not right now. and gentlemen this is every black ops 4 zombies easter egg starting with voyage of despair now unfortunately i do have to record these because of the fact that i basically got booted offline while trying to do this on stream and black ops 4 has a very bad problem where basically the whole game is pretty much online like you can play local but i just wouldn't be able to play with all the uh, the mega elixirs and so that is why i've decided to literally wait it is like almost two in the morning so i can finally play <laughs> just the greatest easter eggs Okay, so Sentinel Artifact is up. We're gonna get Pack-A-Punch up first, and then once Pack-A-Punch is done, that then allows me to open up the rest of the map. Also, I unfortunately am playing as the most annoying Chaos character in the entire crew. The main character, Scarlet. How did they mess up this crew so bad, man? But like, it, it was wild, because I was talking to my chat, and I was saying like how more people were interested in the Exo Zombie storyline than the Chaos storyline. What I actually think it is, is that I think the story is just more simplified. That is what I think makes good story is like get the people in in a simplified way but then later on when they actually want to know all the cool stuff then make it difficult then make it crazy. I just think that like this is the first chaos map. You're on the Titanic. The time has frozen. This map could legitimately have been on any other map. The Titanic was simply a set piece. I feel like I got got when I was playing this and like sure it looks beautiful, but it's like visuals really don't matter a lot in COD Zombies. It's more like, what can I do in the gameplay? Like, can I swim? Can I wall run? Can I have like anti-gravity? Are there like multiple paths? Like, you know, like different, all these different variety of things, in my opinion, is what makes a lot of like people's favorite BL3 zombie maps just that much more exciting, that much more fun. Uh, but I think we can actually start already with the first Easter egg step and that's finding clock so this is our down symbol our minute hand is one and then our our hour hand is negative one and the reason why i say negative one is because it has it's all dependent on where the 12 is so think of 12 as zero it's negative one Okay, so now it's down line. So our minute hand is negative one and our hour hand is one. So there we go. Pretty nice. So now we have our minute hand at three and then negative two as our hour hand. We definitely have our last clock symbol here. Yep, this is the up triangle. Okay, so the minute hand is negative two and the hour hand is negative three. Okay, so now basically what we have to do is input all these codes up. So basically the hour hand is up here and we have the up line one on the left and the down line one on the right. So this up line one is negative two and then this one is one. And that should be absolutely everything there. So up line is three, one, two, three, down is is one uh down line is negative one and then up is negative two and the thing is is like in my opinion if you fail this step just give up <laughs> up is going to be negative three and then this one should be negative one and there you go now we should have symbols at these vaults okay so at the aft decks here we have ice we have water and we basically have to do this in the order of poison water electric fire so let's see where if i have anything here 
This is poison at birth. No way. Is that electric? I hear the electricity. I just don't see it. It might. Oh, there it is. Bro, okay. How about here? Yes, there we go. Okay, so fire is actually at Spitfire. So we now have elemental catalyst in the map. I need a poison one though. We might not get it. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of random. I just took him out with my zombie shell with the insta kill. Well, I deserve that. Let's just hit box. There's really like, we've got the time. We're gonna get Stoker, I think, probably next round. So, I mean, let's just, let's just get, let's just get it going. Oh my gosh, first hit Kraken. I mean, come on. You can't even write that, dog. Okay, we're full, we're fully set up. Let's go. So basically, now it's just about getting everything in place. So, we got this pap. So, poison is here. We're literally just waiting. Okay. Oh, I almost took out the poison. Poison, please, please, please. Yeah, you gotta let him come close. Through. Okay, so that should do it. Can I pick up his foot? Okay, I don't think he dropped it. Sometimes they don't drop it. It's literally RNG. So, now poison is the first one up. So, literally, this is just like a mini little trial. It's pretty cool. Like, yeah, I'm, I like Helion just wrecks everything, dog. Like, you don't even have to worry. Now I'm pretty much set. I'm gonna go upgrade it for like 6k. Uh, also, let's throw Hamonks. I got a max ammo I can pick up after this. Yeah, I'm just gonna spam this because essentially like it kind of just sort of takes you out of this real fast Anybody anybody else? There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's got like some weird effect when it like goes off Okay, so now water we need to do that aft X, which is right here So basically we we are chilling for a water zombie that spawns right here now Yeah, I hear nice. Oh, yes. Come down here brother. Come down here Okay, there we go Okay, and bro decided to just go crazy okay so this one sucks because it refloods the area what i am gonna do though is i'm gonna throw homunculus because these things are absolutely goaded and they're literally so useful on the boss fight especially they help out so much and it's also crazy because i actually think number one this is the first time i will ever do alpha omega solo but i think this is also the first time i'm doing these easter eggs without classics Usually I'm running classics for each of these Easter eggs, except like maybe Immolation. I feel like it's just so much better. It's like the difference between Mega Gobblegum and Classic Gobblegum and BO3. Like you're just gonna have a better time, a more enjoyable time with Megas. It just takes out all the, the annoying things, you know? So that's poison, that's water. Electric is next. Oh, there they are. And there we go. Okay. So yeah, this one's not bad. Yeah, the specialists are pretty bad against the boss zombies though. Also, the craziest part is refreshment also gives you full armor. So it's like, oh, okay. Well, there's my first down. It happens. It happens. I mean, especially when you're dealing with one of those boys. What are my perks this time? Luna, let's go. And quick revive, honestly. Quick revive is really nice. And Luna is going to be so helpful. Yeah, I am also going to use the Helion now. Helion is just best. It's just, it's just the go-to thing. Thank God they never nerf this, bro. And thank God they will never come back to nerf it either. This makes me happy. Something actually overpowered in zombies that's fun. I never feel like you need to nerf overpowered things in zombies. You just need to make everything else better. That's the best balancing. That was like the Modern Warfare 2 way, and it absolutely worked, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so the last one now we need to do is fire. And fire is at the Spitfire. Okay, this fire guy is over here. There we go. And boom, bada bing. There we go. Yeah, this part, I feel like it's definitely best also to be up top. Because this is where they just spawn fire zombies. And I think for this, this is why you're running the chakrams for this particular step. It's like keeping those fire guys away from you. Yeah, as long as they just don't touch you, you're all right. But like, man, they do a ton of damage. Luna, thank you. Coming in at a great time. Luna's also great as like a body block. Because like he legit will block so much of the damage. It's actually incredible. Okay, so now we have the Sentinel Artifact. And basically we need to put it in the pack bunch. So the pap will swap here, which is nice. And then yeah, it's pretty much like the Easter egg is basically just about upgrading the Sentinel Artifact the whole way through. There we go. Yeah, and then now it should say pack bunch central artifact, which we now do. And now we are on the planet step. So a lot of this step pretty much is, is just like you hit all the symbols and then they all pretty much go into the sky. You shoot the planets in order. No, I can start hitting them now. Okay, so that's Neptune. Neptune is the funniest one because it's like the way you shoot it is it's like in the water because it's Neptune, you know? 
You're in the water. Why is this step a thing? This step on any other map would have been phenomenal. Just this map is just not it. Okay, so I think that is Jupiter and then Mars is back up here. Yeah, that's, I think that's Mars. So we have Jupiter, Mars. Venus is in the millionaire suites right here. Uh, Uranus is right here, right behind this thing in the bathroom. Ha ha, funny joke, Uranus. Uh, the sun is up here. This is Mercury. I have a feeling this one is Saturn up here. Let's let's hear it though. I don't know. Hopefully that one's Saturn because I don't know where else Saturn would be. And then the moon should be right here. And I think that's all of them. Oh, this is just the hard part because basically I just have to write everything down. This is the writing everything down Easter egg. Let's start it. So starting with Saturn, then Jupiter, then uh, Neptune, then Mars, then Uranus, then Moon, then Venus, I think that is, Mercury, and last but not least, the Sun. Okay, so we have our order. So let's throw a monk and let's look for Saturn. Saturn is right there. There's the rings. Okay, so Saturn now will come down and we'll see it drop down, hopefully right into where I'm standing. You can see the planet come down. It's pretty cool how it comes down. Like I said, like this is a cool step. It just doesn't fit the, ti the Titanic at all. Okay, so Jupiter now. I have to unfortunately kind of run far to hit this one. Uh, so let's, let's shoot. So Jupiter should be down in this engine room. Yeah, there we go. Now it's Neptune. So Neptune was the fun one. I actually like this one because this one's actually kind of difficult to find. Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, and so the other thing is like when it disappears, I think it comes on the other side of the ship. I've seen a lot of ugly things today, but that's Wow. Wow, the shield is legit. Just the meta. That's shocking. Mars is bright red. That is Mars. Okay, so that's Mars. Uh, okay. There we go. Uranus is in the bathroom. Okay, now it's the moon. So it's funny because the moon is legit the easiest one to hit. It's just right there. Okay. So now Venus, Mercury, and Sun. Okay, Mercury, and then the sun. And so here's the problem now though. Once I do this, I think it puts me into another step and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. But yeah, so as soon as I pick this up now, like I'm in another step now. I think this step is also timed. Yeah, so here's, here's the issue. This is so easy with the Helion, I just have no ammo. Do I just ethereal razor? I think I do. Yep. Oh wow, the chakrams are fast with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's let's really make use of this. Oh my gosh, why? My gosh, bro, this is what I'm saying. Like no shield, no nothing, just a will. Just a will and a hope and a dream. They like need a drop of max here, dude. This is, this is definitely the worst that I've ever been on at this step. Usually, like, I have everything, and I'm, like, totally fine. But, dang, this is, like, I'm using it down to the bone. Here we go, finally. So, what's interesting is that you don't even have to do the last of these. You just shoot the final one, and you're done. All the world records be helping me out right here. Because, literally, they just didn't even think of people doing this. Like, you have guns this whole thing. Of course people are going to do that. They just disappear, too. It's so funny. 
it's time it's time for boss fight i'm as prepared as i can be and hopefully if i beat this i get free doors so i'm gonna take that like look at this though this is one of the coolest things ever you see all these like bodies flowing around and like you can like push them out of the way this was easily one of the the coolest parts about bf4 and then you just go up and hold square to it how this tree in an iceberg spawns an eye boss fight is genuinely beyond me but i mean this is one of the coolest cutscenes ever in cod zombies and you can't change my mind it is genuinely beautiful i just realized all the planets are also on the tree i don't know what like see this is the thing i don't know what that means it's the first time i've ever seen that bro and then now you got the, like the the iceberg coming out as the boss that is one big iceberg that's the cod zombies iceberg number five right there boys well i'm excited because this boss fight is actually riveting it's challenging it's fun it's exciting it's fun five phases so ladies and gentlemen let's get right into it the eye of odin boss fight now this is where it gets actually busy and this is legit where i could pop the refreshment because he's gonna start shooting lasers down the hallways here and basically i have to just essentially sit in the corner until he appears on one side and what i have to do is shoot him right through here homunculus is coming out because now you literally just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, that was not that bad. And so when the laser starts shooting out from the eye again here for phase four, that's when I start shooting. So again, Hamonk time. And then get the four shots in for okay, for some reason it used to be four shots. Now it's two. Wow, yeah, it's legit only two shots. I don't know if they made it easier or like, what is going on? I remember it used to be four shots per phase. There we go. I'm quite shocked. Like we're already final phase. So now this is for all the marbles really. So basically this is where I have to just pick up the max and do as much as I can. Let me get ready. There we go. Yeah, the lock-on is how you know you hit them. There we go. Monk is going out. Wow, that was only one. Okay. Next Monk is coming out. Yeah, just some Monks are so nice for this man. Yep, two shots on him there. There we go. Okay, I have no homunculuses, so this is going to be... We're going to be down to the wire here. Yeah, okay. I did not realize I'd be freezing. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is bad. I am I gotta be very careful with my ammo here. Final phase. This should be it. Get all the damage in. And that is the Voyage of Despair Easter Egg and Boss Fight. Let's go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Voyage. Let's get into 9 now, baby. This is such a different change of pace from Voyager Despair. And because I have completed Voyager Despair, I should have free doors. Also, I got some amazing perks. Luna, Electric Cherry, Victorious, Winter's Whale, and Quick Revive and Death Reset. All of them are amazing. Let's get it. We got to do the three trials here, obviously, to get the Acid Trap. And the reason why we need the Acid Trap is for the Nine Scorpion. I am running Fire Sails because this is another one of those maps where boss fight, you want the Helion Salvo, man. You really, really do. But man, like just the aesthetic and the vibe of Nine is truly something that I don't know if we'll ever experience in Call of Duty again. Again. This is a cool vibe. We go next round. We get that next 10. And then we'll be gaming. Round 4. Let's go. And yeah, so a lot of this is also based on your affinity. Like, you do need the affinity pretty much to get the poo poo for the easter egg step the fire is also going to be great for getting negative affinity maybe i could get the poo poo already honestly maybe i should uh so now we got a pack punch strife we get the part and let's run into the fire uh but yeah with the fire it's very easy to actually get negative affinity. you can see how fast it's turning around so there we go we have the stinky poo poo did we get the poo poo i don't know if i just picked up the item or not i don't know I, that was so weird what i just saw but let's see do I have free doors this game? I do. So that's that's actually sick. Let's just get through this right now then. Start getting the bull shield and all the champions done. 
So nice when it's just play the map. You got that permanent shopping for you. Let's just open up every single door here. Just get it all going. We have the head here already. So I literally already know where it is. I don't even have to do the freaking... Oh, shoot the thing. Ha, ah, shoot the thing. Nah, G, I ain't got to shoot nothing, bro. Open up the Odin and the Zeus side, boy. Get the part for the shield. Caligula, bro, the, I, the amount of vocabulary you can learn from Black Ops 4 Zombies is astounding, dog. Okay, so, yeah, why they gotta, bro, you're gonna hop down and I'm gonna take you out in an instant. What are you, what are you getting all excited about over here, bro? You're about to get bullied, I don't know what to tell you. We're basically just chilling now, and then as soon as we're done this, we go to PAP. We have, we've got all of them now, and yeah, the PAP is basically just to get the rest of the acid trap parts. Let's get PAP open now, and then what we're gonna do is grab all the sh grab all the acid trap parts. I may or may not need a guide to find the skull in the wall. That's like the only time I ever need to pull up something. But for the most part, I think we're all right. Uh, I'm gonna grab all the acid trap parts here as well. Okay, so you shoot that, and then we know now that the part was at Danu. So as soon as I shoot that, I can now pick up this head. And then literally, all you do now with the head is you bring it up to... I mean, I could have built it right here, but I like building it at the raw temple. So you build the trap on the temple, and then before you actually activate it, you place the skull, and then activate the trap, and it melts the stone, and releases something called an Egyptian spile, which is something you put into, like, a tree to get, like, the sap out. And what the spile does is that's how we're gonna get the sap out of the Danu tree to get the acid to pour on the mist box to get the wonder weapons so what a freaking convoluted process but like welcome black ops 4 baby um i i should have left the one i'm gonna i'm gonna actually pop this fire sale now because i feel like i literally only have one weapon still oh my gosh i already got it so like I, what i'm doing is completely useless now i also should pop this because actually right now yeah that's actually what i should do i'm gonna look for the skull on the wall that we need to grab so the way you grab it is by whipping out your specialist weapon and so i'm able to pat this too it's wild i've literally like barely spent my points uh so literally this is the worst step ever because you have to really look in this dark crypt for a skull with a blue circle on its forehead like yo yeah 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 you have like freaking 900 of these in the wall because they can literally be in any of these spots like legit any of them and it's like when you find the real one it's not even like worth it half the time oh the gladiators here okay i don't want to kill him let's go up and get it okay so now i need bro to throw his axe so he drops one of the the spikes oh my gosh i'm 50 health there we go and so there is our item and then we go to odin's spot now and we put it at the very bottom inside the fire and we let it sit for a couple rounds and so while i'm doing this i'm gonna wait on this round until we find a skull the skull is of utter importance right now oh it's right here oh my gosh i found it and there it is. We've got it. Wow. Like, that's what I mean. Like, cool set, but in practicality, it's just kind of freaking annoying. Now, literally, I just need to pop fire sails and spin for homunculus and spin for Helion Salvo. If I get those two, we are absolutely ga we're gaming. Oh, and there we go. Homonks. Very lovely. This gun looks so sick. What a beautiful Mastercraft. The camos in this game and the Mastercrafts were truly ahead of their time. Yeah, but the damage was not ahead of its time. And I just got rid of the Scorpion for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Um, well, that's going to be interesting. Dang. Only two gladiators there. And that should get this thing to be fully done. And yeah, you can see it turned red and I'm able to pick it up now. And so now literally we have to go to Zeus and place this all here and just wait for a couple rounds. Just the Helion would be so nice right now, man. Could you imagine? Oh, -ho -ho! that is what I'm talking about. We literally have all the weapons that we need now. We are totally on pace. We're doing this just right. We just need to wait for the Zeus. Oh, wow. It's already done. Dang, I got it in one round. Usually it takes two. Now it needs to be placed at Danu. And Danu essentially also now just needs to let this ferment in the middle here. And then we're gaming. Now we are just waiting for paps. The Viper and Dragon is also going to be so great for the actual step. With the specialist weapon only pretty much. Okay, let's grab that. Let's also check on Danu. How's Danu looking? 
It's looking not ready. Yeah, a lot of nine pretty much just boils down to just round skipping. Like, it's just like, it's just like getting through the rounds to get certain steps to happen. Like, you literally, it's not even like you need to do something in those rounds. It's just, no, just get your guns ready and all that. But yeah, okay, so now it's smoking green. And so literally all we have to do is just get a firebomb, take uh, Elim over it, and we're good. Okay, firebomb. I'm just gonna shoot until firebomb pretty much procs. And there it is, it's procced. And now I'm gonna pop my specialist so I don't die and I just have to stand on here. And it should telly me. And there we go. Spitfire time. Let's get it. Let's get all that damage into the bulbs. This is a really cool Easter egg step as well. It's just, it's pretty much just damaging a bunch of bulbs. There we go. Yeah, usually I don't have a monculus for this, but having it actually makes it so much easier. It's literally, you just spam it with this Spitfire. Spitfire is one of the best. This, I actually think the Helion could be better, but Spitfire is pretty much doing as much as I needed to right now. Look how gorgeous the skybox is in this step. Like why we don't have it permanent is beyond me. So now I basically need to find bull symbols and these bull symbols can be anywhere and there's four of them. There's one right there. Is there one up there? Yes, there is. Yeah, they're pretty easy to spot in my opinion. Yeah, take out the gladiators because as you can see, they start like spinning around. It's better to take them out one by one because I find if you take them out all by once, the, the souls sometimes don't travel to raw in time. Uh, and yeah, so this guy's also one of the symbols we shot. Another sacrifice in the name of raw. Okay, there could be one also here. I think there's going to be one here. Yep, there's that one. So this boy's done. Let's see that soul fly out of you. Ah, I just didn't see it. It was there. Okay. I was like, yeah, I was like, for sure, I probably just ran past it. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, where's my gladiator? I can literally start this next step. There we go. I do have to be very careful here because basically I only have the Helion Salvo and I have to take out everything in a specific order. So honestly, I think I'm popping a max here. And look at that. It's so cool. Like having the perk machines as part of the Easter egg, I think is sick. So they're going to give me four symbols here and I have to take out whatever that is in order. So that is a brawler. That is a uh, tiger, electric brawler, tiger, electric fire, brawler, tiger, electric fire. Brawler? Yeah, Brawler. Is that Tiger? Tiger will use the Spitfire for it. Electric. I should also do this fast so I don't get Luna to actually take accidentally take them out. But there we go. First four is done. Next four symbols. Tiger. Fire. Tiger, fire, electric, water. Fire and tiger. Okay, tiger. Fire's up here. There's fire. Electric. Make them all out, Luna. There we go, baby. And just like that, the raw step is done. So next now is Zeus. This is basically where we just shoot prongs into the top of the sky. Yeah, so it's literally just shoot it with the, the shield until it goes up. So that one's done. Yeah, and basically you can't leave the crypt until all of these are shot. So I can't imagine how this must have been like when people were solving this, like how difficult it would have been to do this. Also, Spitfire is going to be huge for this step. So we got another one here. Yeah, they're just the rate of fire on the Spitfire is just so worth it. And then the last one. Oh, yeah, it's to the left of this area. So I'm going to turn on a trap, take them out while they're coming in and just shoot. Shoot that boy. And there we go. Great storm approaches. We're able to go up now. So yeah, basically there's going to be a bunch of fields out here where I have to essentially take out two boss zombies in each of these fields to connect the currents around the spawn room. It's hard to do this with regular zombies. I find it's best to do this with bosses. And so now it's powered on. We got three more to go and that's that. Well, let's go, baby. They must not survive. This is literally the perfect time to get this round because I'm able to literally just use all of the boss spawns they give me. So I'm actually going to go right in front of the, the spawn. That's what I think is so funny. I will never read the jungle book the same way again. He was in the circle, but sometimes they don't count. Who's that guy? Yeah, brute, come on in here. Oh, we got a brawler. Come on over. Okay. Come on, jump up in here. Yep, get in here. There we go. So now that one's done. 
Oh, yeah, and then we activate this, and then it's specialist weapon only time. But the thing is, though, is, like, you don't even need to use the specialist. I think I'm just gonna whip out the Helion. What is it? Just using the specialist weapon can put yourself at a massive risk. The Helion is just so much better. There's just too many enemies, I feel like, to not use the Helion. Like, I think, I think the way it works is you need to actually take out a certain number of enemies. Yeah, Helion is just madness, dog. As long as you have PhD as well. There we go. Wow. Complete W. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a Homunculus. This is a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, because literally all it is is you're like jumping, trying to hit all of the all of the symbols at once. And the only way you can do that genuinely is just by trial and error. Like it just okay there we go so we just got it like you see what i mean like it's not that good of a step because you just cheese it and then eventually you get it you just spam it until you get it pretty much i don't know this one i find it's like best like shoot the top corner oh never mind i shot the complete other opposite corner and got it instantly and there we go We've now got them. We got all three of them. And so now we are waiting for the lockdown. Let's get it, baby. Uh, also, this trap is just doing the Lord's work. I have not seen any of the zombies from that side. Yeah, the boss zombies do take a bit to just enter in the map. Is that a blight father I hear there? What the frick was that? Yeah, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a Monculus there. Let's go, Luna. Dude, Luna is just so goaded. I got very lucky with this game for sure. My perkaholic is legitimately one of the best I've ever seen. I do kind of wish Rampage Inducer was uh in Black Ops 4. I feel like Rampage Inducer is one of the best features from Cold War. They definitely should have put it into BO4. Bro, I've only stopped two out of three catalyst transformations on my trial. It's still two out of three. I still haven't even beat it. Okay, so this should give me the max ammo. That should be it. Oh, I need to grab the key. Yeah, so you get the key. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for boss fight. Let's go right into this for nine. I literally love this boss fight. So, I mean, we're ready to go. Let's go, baby. Yeah, so what you can do is just spam the the circuit's kiss here. I find it's better to use it on the regular mobs. But, like, you go, th you just waste so much ammo by doing this. I mean, what else am I going to use it for? Boom. Oh, there we go. Okay, there they go. There they go. There they go. Yeah, this strat with the Sir Cat's kiss is so busted. Where's my max? Okay, do we get elephant now? Oh, and there he is. Let's go. I'm, I gotta pick this up. Oh, don't fling me. Bro, the nine elephant can fling you so far. It's insane. Okay, that's his armor. And then just in the head, bro. In the head. The Helion. The Helion in the head, dog. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, I already got him. I didn't even realize. Wow, that's crazy. Well, there is a second elephant, but bro, I'm telling you, like, that's what I'm saying. This is the Helion is so different. And like a lot of people were failing this boss fight because like they didn't know about this pit fire or the mog or whatnot. Like, let me see if I can. Oh, my man. Like, he does not mess around. We got Luna in. Yep. Yeah. That's his armor. Last to Monk. We take him out right here, dog. This is this is legit easy mode. Oh my gosh. Do not hit me. The thing is that they can still fling you out of the map and stuff. But bro, that's it. Boss fight done. Easter egg done. Nine is done. Ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And I mean, on to blood. It's wild because my two most completed Black Ops 4 Easter eggs are Dead of the Night and Blood of the Dead because my chat has made me want to suffer doing through it multiple times. And so I've just realized that you guys genuinely hate me, but I feel like doing this Easter egg that many times has allowed me to actually get just that much more better. It is still a not bad zombies map. Like I definitely play this over Voyage of Despair, but I definitely play Voyage of Despair over Alpha Omega. I'm slowly realizing that Alpha Omega is my least favorite Black Ops 4 zombies map. It just feels like nothing. Okay. Yeah, so the brave fire there for the dogs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and thank you, goodness, for Winter's Whale saving my literal existence out here. He's gonna die, right? There we go. I was about to say. 
Okay, let's soul suck these zombies. There we go. Kayan is so beautiful on, with this Mastercraft. Like, some of the BO4 camos are just stunning. I just love the way this thing looks, man. It's so cool looking. The yellow eroded part, like, it looks like some sort of, like, acid is eroded there. But then it kind of also looks like these, like, Japanese-type symbols. It looks sick. There's another full power over there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna see if I can get that. No, Luna. No, he's choked. He choked. Get him going. Okay, yeah, and then this is the last one that we can get the Hell's Retriever. Carpenter. Oh, yeah, this is gonna help out big time. It's so hard because I don't know if Witcher's Whale actually, like, feeds him because they literally just stand in place. It's so bizarre. Okay, I still got a freaking bunch of them dog bro got a whole zombie shell up in there dog it's cool because a lot of people don't know like when you pull out the specialist weapon you're actually getting the zombies to respawn it's so weird how this game works like it doesn't actually fully kill them when you whip it out i'm not excited for the bird step honestly i think that's probably one of my least favorite easter egg steps of all time the bird step it ultimately just drags this easter egg down so hard in my opinion okay so now we hit this we hit the skull and then the spoon basically we just need to use this to knife the thing and get a monkey bomb yeah let's just end the round with this thing because now we just basically need to get the rest of the skull spots throw this boy this one we will see about that okay we got it okay now we got to go up to pap and when we go up to pap we can then get the whole freaking challenges going, bro. Because, yeah, honestly, Blood of the Dead is basically very similar to Grodd Crowby's Easter egg. But it's just not as good. Get that boy up. Here we go. Okay, boy, get in here. Get in here. He's going to lock absolutely everything on the way. But you know what? This is what you pay for to do the Easter eggs faster, my guy. Oh, and there he is. And then we just throw a monkey bomb right here. And then literally he just breaks the door down and that's it. <laughs> like, what the heck is that all about, dog? And then you grab the orb and then I think, yeah, you, you place the book, the Cronorium. Or you flip the switch. Yeah, that's what it is. And then now we begin, brother. Uh, the Blundergat is actually right there. And honestly, I'm going to pick it up. And now we get it going. The first bird step can only spawn in one of four locations, which honestly makes this Easter egg that much easier. So this bird can spawn right here. And there he is. See you later, brother. Okay, and there it is. So I believe it's in the bottom area. Ah, you fiend. Okay, we got the second spot. Yeah, this one's on the roof. Oh, no, it's right here. I've never in my life, in my whole entire life, have ever had that spot. Blundell said, we want you looking for birds on this map. You're going to be bird watching whether you like it or not. Now we are just looking for this last freaking zombie blood bird, my guy. This thing can be legit anywhere. So let's hear it. Let's see if I can hear it. Oh my gosh, it's literally right there. There's no way. I just got it on my first freaking thing. Let's just do it already, because I know what I have to do. It's just 8, 7, 2, and then this spawns in a zombie blood, and then literally I just freaking go, and then literally just... There we go, we got the book. Okay, now that we have the Cronario, we can finally start the Easter Egg steps, man. Jeez, what an annoying step, just to get the freaking Cronorium. I hope we get a fun challenge first. I mean, we're going to have to do all of them, which is just... What's our code? 491. 491. Okay. 491. Now we run back and see okay, what the frick we're doing. You can always tell just by looking at where the freaking lighthouse is shining. And it's Docs. Great. Docs is going to be a pain because pretty much what I got to do for this is just um, do Morse code. And this Morse code step you can do pretty easily. Just got to make sure you know what's up. Let's get this thing first. There we go. Let's just basically start this pretty much right now. So I'm going to start with a short and then see if that works. I'm just going to tap it a couple times and just see if we get it. 
Okay, so it's not a taparini. It's a hole then. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so our first number is eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one. Oh, that's it? My number was literally just nine? That was the easiest Morse code I've ever done in my life. There's legit no way it was just that. That's kind of insane. So now we have to run up to infirmary and take out a zombie. Uh, and then I have to shield blast it pretty much. And then we just escort the bro. So there's that. Shoot him. And now we need zombie souls for my boy. Get my mans up here. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Magma Gat is also very nice for this. You can just basically just spam it and he gets a bunch of souls. Finally, we are moving and schmoving. Come on, brother. I need you with me. There we go. Yeah, bro's running out of juice. I might not have enough juice. Oh, he, look at him. He's all red. Uh-oh. It's not good when they red like that. Come on, man. I'm leading you to the dock. I mean, there we go. Now we do another challenge. Docks is done, which is pretty good. That was one of the harder ones. We still have new industries, though. Or the powerhouse one, and that one is just literally a joke. I cannot stand that one. What's next? 696. Okay. 6, 9, and that's 6, brother. Okay, so this one is guaranteed to be not docks. But now the real question is, are we getting a hard one or an easy one? Oh, we got one all the way, I think, at the spawn. Okay. So, yeah, we got powerhouse. Oh, no. Well, this is going to be interesting. Shoot that boy. Let's see if I can see him. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. It is Simon Says step now. We do not like this step. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this Samantha Says is going to be me. Hoping to God I get it. I'm so bad at this step. This is it. We got to remember our codes. Oh, and we got the chi key charge here. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, right is our first one. And then we got to do this five times. That's door. Uh, door close. Okay, door close. Close. Close, close. So double close. Close, close, left. Okay. Close, close, and left. Okay, left, close, left, close, left, close, left, left, close, left, back. Left, close, left, back. Okay, okay back, back, close, back, close, right, back, close, right, door. Back, close, right, door, front. So back, close, right, door, and front. Now I need to remember the symbols that I see that are lit up. Okay, so it's close, right, and door. So this one is symbol number three. Right is symbol number four. And this is symbol number six. Pick up the punch card. There we go. So four is E, E, F. Okay, so our symbols are C, E, F. There we go. So now he hits that one and that should work. And yeah, he has to come now and hit these two on the right here. There we go. And then one more. And that should give us the orb. Let's go, man! Oh my gosh, that is so nice. We just get it like that. There we go. Okay, I will take you. Thank you, sir. There we go. Helion Salvo definitely makes this so much easier. Thank you, Luna, for helping. What a G. Okay. Yeah, so I can take out zombies outside. Okay, that's it. There you go, brother. Thank you. Shrum along. Give me your thing. Give me your soul and I'm a peace out. There we go. Okay, that one's done. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to get new industries next. So I'm going to genuinely try and get max soul charge up on here. 
Okay, it's full charged. Ready for blast! Ready for takeoff! Let's shock this boy. And now we just freaking shield key charge him. And then literally just do it until bro is redder than my you know what. But then once he's fully red, this should be the last one. Then I can just go and finish it. Oh, there we go. Okay. And what's nice is I don't even need to look through the shield to see the ghost. He should appear. There he is. Brother's coming. He's definitely on his way. And yeah, you have to time it because this new industry trap is honestly not on for that long. I, I think I'm, I'm good to activate now. And there's our last orb. So now we only have the Michigan Avenue challenge, which is just so dumb easy. So literally we got this. Yep, there we go. Okie dokie, we're zooming. So now again, we just need to take out a zombie here. And then this is really where the step gets big. So honestly, let's get it. Do not touch my friend, lad. You will not touch him. You will get nowhere close. Yeah, this one's definitely the most fun challenge in my opinion. Because it's actually like a challenge. This is like a Garage Crow V type challenge right here. There we go. Yep. It is just so insane how god tier this freaking gun is. Like, dude is not even red whatsoever. This was easily my best run of Blood of the Dead so far. I am genuinely impressed, my gamers. Okay, so now I have all the orbs. I'm ready to place them. So now, all those orbs are in. Yeah, it is now time to go back to the warden to get the cutscene, baby. Oh, yeah, we gotta put this on. Now he's gonna be looking all crazy. I definitely love the Blood of the Dead mid cutscenes. Like, once you get to this point of the E-Strike, it's actually quite fun. You've done all the worst parts, you know? Girl, I don't belong to you. You freaking knocks me in the head like that? Like, what a, what a bully. Your life sentence lasts like five seconds. <laughs> we freaking weasel comes out and saves you after like <laughs> after like ten seconds of this guy leaving. Bro, freaking put your big light out, dog. Get that thing out of my face. Bro's like my mom when she walks, bro. <laughs> I should not have said that. That was so funny. Okay, Weasel, any time now. Come hit the vault meter. I ain't gonna wait for somebody in Mob of the Dead to do it in afterlife now. Any day. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now we go. Now we've got it. We've got it. You can just literally just run through, freaking bully this guy. See you later. See you freaking later, you donkey, you dinky, you dinky doodler, you absolute donkey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the boss fight. Let's get it. There we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. Boss fight time. But basically, I just realized this boss fight mainly just consists of taking out Brutus as fast. And if you have the Helion Salvo, you, you absolutely kill this. Yeah, just freaking spam that Helion, brother. Spam that Helioner. Okay, spitfire these bad boys. I remember failing this round 100 boss fight because I didn't have PhD with the Helion Salvo. And it's like, it's so easy to fail. Okay. Oh my goodness, four rocket launchers to the chest, this guy said. Oh, the combination is actually insane. Yeah, when you have the both of them, that is when it goes different. Uh, let's just do this first, and then I'll grab the Max and the Carpenter. Oh my gosh, almost died there. Bro, oh, we got the bot in. Rick Toppin, you going in, G? Nah, he's just gonna run around with the Welling. I wonder if he can, like, hold him back so he doesn't do it. It's wild how they literally have AI get you to finish this. And so, uh, there we go. That is it. And he just whipped out that crystal like it's nothing. And there we go. <laughs> One Helios shot and boss fight is over. <laughs> Honestly, what I feel about, like, really sucks with this Easter egg now is that, like, you see all the, like, implications of the Great War map being set up, and then they just don't ever happen. It's so sad, man. Also, every YouTuber cried at this point, except for me. I didn't overreact.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Dead of the Night Easter Egg. My recording did get corrupted, so I am pretty far into the Easter Egg. I've gotten the PAP, the Silver Bullets, the fully upgraded Wonder Weapon, and I'm already on the Ghost Step, which is just insane. Uh, I did the Zodiac Scratch. I did the Alistair's Puzzle. I did the Silver Bullets. Uh, so literally, it's it's been, a, it's been a crazy ride so far. And so essentially right now, now, I'm on the second last step where basically I just have to look for the woman that's around the map somewhere. So that's essentially the goal. And let's get it. Dead of Night's map is incredible, man. I think a lot of people don't give this map enough love, enough attempts, enough tries. Because genuinely this map is... It's so ridiculous in terms of what you can do and all the different side Easter eggs and all the different lore. And you know what's wild is like, I actually checked. This is my most played Easter egg in Black Ops 4. And it's probably because most people hated this map for a long time and were just like, do it. Oh, I hear the ghost. Wait, was it, where is the ghost? I saw it. I didn't see you, but I hear you. Oh, right here. Let's go. Yeah, so this ghost is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a deal. And so once we're done this ghost step, we'll have another tablet that unlocks. And then the last one that I have to do is the fireplace step. I kind of have forgotten that step. This, this map is definitely underrated to me. Like this map was supposed to be as big of a deal as like the sh a Shadows of Evil or a Mob of the Dead. And it definitely got overshadowed because of how poorly it launched. But genuinely, if you ever are someone who wants to learn more zombies content and experience it and all that, bro, this game, or this map was it, bro. This map had it. There we go. And we've got the tablet. Okay, so we got two out of three tablets. That is so sick. And then the last one now is with the shields and the fireplace. And so I already have the trap. I basically just need to remember now what areas I need to go. How people even found this. Like, not only just running out with your shield into a trap, but also full charging the Alistair's Annihilator and then running with your shield to do an Easter egg step. That gives you a locket that you have to get a like get a soldier to follow you around the map it's so bizarre and you have to hit the fireplaces all in a specific order you can't just hit them randomly like no wonder this has got to be one of the like the the least completed easter eggs on this game 100 percent. but funnily enough this is one of my most completed easter eggs and so there you go you can see like right there we already get a jewel and you don't even see it you just hear a sound man like that's crazy how they did y'all like this and then here's the other thing. It's just like, I don't want to go through it because I don't want the zombies to full die. This is wild. I genuinely, like, refuse to believe that people found this without the help of Treyarch. Like, I genuinely even wonder if, like, some YouTubers had some sort of guidance because it's just like, how the frick do you even solve this? Like, it's, it's wild enough that you have to do this with all the fireplaces, but, like, charge the freaking Alistair's Annihilator fully upgraded as well? Wild. So there's the second jewel. Yeah, just uh, boggles my mind, man, how many different little Easter eggs this are. And like, bro, there's also a six perk Easter egg where you can get free homunculuses on here, bro. It's mad, man. Okay, there's master. So trophy. Like, how? How are people figuring this stuff out? That's what I'm saying. Like, these are very, very specific things. And in my opinion, there's very little guidance that like actually shows you how to do it. But I also need to make sure that I upgrade my Spitfire before we go to boss fight. Because now I have the jewels and I'm going to go get all of the statues. This step is pretty long. You have to gather all the statues and then get them going and all that. Not a short step, let me tell you. Especially because it's like you have to walk as soon as you spawn them in with the, the stone here. This they they be slow but yeah it's a this is this is a very cool step it's just like i don't think uh, this is one of those bo4 easter eggs for sure that was not designed for solo play 110 percent, i can tell you that so we gather this one here and then the next one is literally right here and then what you do is you start sprinting so they stay there and then you go and grab the other one and then that's pretty much it and then pretty much after this the easter egg is just taking out a bunch of zombies it's locked 
lockdowns, it's getting souls, it's it's all that. And so we'll do it. We'll do it. And then the last statue is right here. Come on down, follow me over here, boy. But yeah, like I am a big f I did I have an art history degree, right? And so I remember watching a bunch of films about like Nosferatu. And I think like once I knew the lore about the original Dracula vampire and Nosferatu, definitely made me appreciate this map a way more, let me tell you, because like you can actually start seeing all the little symbolism that Jason Blundell and Treyarch were adding into this, and it's just so freaking cool in my opinion. So I've got all three of the jewels behind me now, and literally we just bring them into the, the forest here and get a bunch of souls with them, and then I'll take out the zombie, and that's pretty much it. Like, that's all the hard steps, really. Dead of Night's a fun egg, man. Once you know how to do it, like, I definitely think it's funny that, like, Noah still rates this as his worst zombies map of all time, because it definitely does not deserve that. This map is genuinely a masterpiece in its own right. It's just, it's unfortunate because this, it just, so many bad things happen. And it goes to show, like, you have a god tier map, but, like, if you have a terrible launch, nobody will care. Like, genuinely nobody. And that is just really sad in my opinion okay so that one's done now and then this one over here we got the blue symbol on and there we go baby and yeah pretty much it's all souls and taking taking them all out right now and there we go they move a little bit closer each and every time so make it at least somewhat easy yes sir give me that ray fire uh, you really also probably, I might also try and spin for homunculuses, but they're not like insanely needed in my opinion. You can definitely run the egg without them, but I think it's more up to personal preference. I mean, I don't think I'll need them to be honest. I think if I just like play it correctly, I can do it. I can do it just fine. But I mean, maybe if I get homunculuses, it would be nice. Okie doke. Take out them zombies, boy. But okay, this guy is probably going to be done real soon. And then once they're in the middle, it's going to start spawning in some werewolves. We're going to have to take those bad boys out real fast. There we go. And then one more. Yeah, it's also wild because, like, apparently the reason why this map... Like, this map should have been on launch because it is a prequel map. But apparently the reason why it wasn't is because it took them so long to get the celebrity cast. And it's the funniest thing because that also ended up being, in my opinion, the worst part about the map is this celebrity cast which is usually never the case but it's just like something to do with like the map's lore i think it was mainly just the treyarch writing the writing in this map is absolutely horrendous and so there we go the wolf is done we took him out and then they should all now make the lockdown stone and there we go there it is so let's literally start with this stone right now because i got to do all three of the stones honestly playing this dead of the night easter egg definitely makes me realize i need to watch more world records of this because like i literally was holding the world record for dead of the night at one point at like 38 minutes like it's my fastest easter egg completion and i'm like dang like I feel like Dead of the Night has been optimized so much. There's been so many different skips and all that. Like, it's just, it's, it's just gotta be that, like, that insane. Yeah, I'm gonna also just throw some Ray Fighters down. Yeah, I forgot. There's gonna be some werewolves, aren't there? I don't know where they are, but they, they, they're, they'll, they'll, they will appear. This I'm sure of. Very proud of myself. Oh my gosh. Okay. And there's my werewolf going crazy. There we go. Get that werewolf, bruh. Oh, and there's my boy. Yeah, you literally just have to spam the Wonder Weapon shots at him. And there we go. The lockdown is done. I unfortunately did use a Dying Wish there. But there, we got one of them. Let's get it. Okay, next lockdowns are a lot easier in my opinion. They give you a lot more leeway. So let's do the mausoleum one first. This one, I feel like, also spawns in a ton. A metric ton of freaking, what is it? Of um, werewolves, man. The werewolves are no joke. Yeah, they are absolutely no joke up in here. Yeah, also I'm going to use my ray fires too. Bro, just straight up disintegrating out here. Yeah, it's just when the zombies stop and it's just werewolves, that's when it gets, like, really freaking hard. Because those werewolves hit for big damage. Okay, there we go. My boy small, and yeah, here we go. The werewolves are coming. Yep. Yeah, the chakrams, though, are very nice for the werewolves. And considering the major boss fight at the end of this is also a werewolf, this makes sense. Oh my gosh. Like, this is what I'm saying with this dude. Bro is not letting up. 
This boy's out of my bed now. There's like so many. Come on. There we go. And just like that, we're all done. Easy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is the Dead of the Night boss fight, baby. But this is so sick. It's got like its own like intro and all that. It's cool, bro. Okay, so we do have to just spin this to the green light. Yeah, now it's green and we just sit here and wait for the invisible werewolf to spawn. And then as soon as he spawns, I'm gonna throw this homonk and then we just literally just delete him. Oh, he didn't, wait, he didn't come through. What the heck? I wasted that. Oh, it's cause I don't have this one done. I didn't even see this light. I thought you only get like two lights right at the beginning. Oh my gosh, bro is doing damage. Okay, now it's up. Um, So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna chalk on them for a bit. And this is where we just damage, 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 damage. Okay, uh, honestly, I think I need a max. I think I need a max. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage. Turn that statue. It is a very unique boss fight because it goes fully in line with like the Nosferatu of like what's the weakness and all that. What's the damage points? Okay, Spitfire go. I'm going to... Also, specialist weapon, this man. There we go. The chakrams are so nice, too. I think we have done it. Did we just get through second or first phase? I, I can't. I know we definitely didn't. Okay. We have one more homunculus, though, so we should be all right. Um, the max ammos are definitely beautiful. I do have a refreshment as well that I can use, but I'm not going to use it until we're in absolute dire need. Okay. That yeah, Winner's Whale is also huge. Okay, so that is second phase. Wow, that he takes a ton of damage there. That is crazy, to be honest. Okay, we do have one homunculus for this. And basically, this phase is just like... It's just kind of like a recuperate phase. Like, just get back into gear. Um, but for the most part, I mean, I might as well just grab this. Um, yeah, it's basically just take out all the zombies. And I think they just spawn in regular werewolves again. Let's see. Yeah, I'll throw this homunculus. Just get it going. Just get them going here. I mean, like, if you have Alistair's Annihilator and a max ammo and Spitfire upgraded, like, you're totally gaming. Yeah. So there you go. These are the werewolves coming in. I, I This Wonder Weapon is a lot of fun to use, man. It's literally like, it's like a charge up ray gun that's really good. That's literally like, uh, probably the easiest way I could describe it. Okay, is my man coming back into the map? We will know very soon. Oh, yeah, we gotta take this boy out. I think it's just a couple of werewolves and then... That's pretty much it. Is my man back? Let's see. I guess he is. So yeah, let's get the statues turning. Yeah, and so now I think the statues just have to find where the slot goes. And that's what phase three is now. So it's it's basically just n not getting completely bullied. Because bro, like when he runs into you, you practically can almost instantly die. Okay, so now let's get it. Just spit fire and I'll specialist in. Um, I'm gonna throw a homunculus here. Oh my gosh, bro, launch me. Okay, spit fire him. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh, we got him, bro. This Spitfire is goaded. Oh my gosh. I did not realize how good that thing is in the boss. Wow. GG's on dead of the night, y'all. Good thing you're better at shooting than calling Call of Duty. This, this cutscene, man. Literally, all you got to do is just play my reaction to this when I was absolutely blitz. I've seen some the strange things in my time. But no, it's... you fucking have not. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great zombies map. And what I'm going to do is use ancient evil shopping free. I don't know why I just said it like that. Okay, shopping free time. Pop that boy. Take that man out. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to go for is the Spitfire. The Spitfire on this map is absolutely dumb. Uh, but basically, let's just open up every single part of the overworld. I'm probably going to have to activate another shopping free once we get to the underworld. You might be wondering why I'm running the staff. It's for the boss fight for this guy. You can just instantly take him out pretty much once you have it. The beam is not that good. But mainly what you use this for is the melee. 
melee. The melee, for some reason, is just insane. Which is good, but, I mean, it's pretty much useless on solo, right? It's definitely the, the co-op specialist weapon. I just love this map. It is such a vibe, bro. Like, you'll really never, ever get another experience like this. And, it, like, Jason Lindell absolutely nailed the vibes of this map. We now need to get this boy upgraded. And I believe the way we do it is we take out a bunch of zombies in the water and we get this thing bloodied up and then we have to find coins yeah you can see the the water is getting bloodier and bloodier oh yeah drink you drink from oh that's disgusting are you serious i don't remember this oh bro we drink okay so now we look for coins so this is a real one and yeah basically we have to find real coins and not fake coins and if i take a hit i don't regen the health so yeah you can actually hear like the ping noise Oh, and that's the third one. Prove yourself worthy. Girl, look at me. I'm not worthy. It's crazy because this shot actually acts like a monkey bomb and all the zombies go towards it. I think it's just not with the zombies pertaining to the trial. But what I love about this is you get like infinite ammo. But for the trial here, I find it's definitely faster if you just spam the gauntlet here. Any day now, zombinis. Okay, thank you. We're, we proved we're worthy. We absolutely just destroyed the entirety of the underworld. Tribute, kill zombies with uh, equipment. And then literally we're going to do the pap. And then we're also going to do this urinal. So we're going to get all the Wraith Fire eliminations. Every single one of them. Oh my gosh. Could you even imagine? There's refreshment. Oh! Oh! You get him bullied. You get him bullied. Oh my goodness. Where did you come from? I'm bullying you. Plant that boy. Heal me. Oh my goodness. I am going to die. Oh, spit fire. Spit fire. Throw that boy. I'm about to die. You about to die. Oh my gosh. That was freaking ridiculous i don't know what just happened there honestly this easter egg is a lot of fun because you're just doing stupid things <laughs> like you're, i'm shooting feather off an arrow look at that portal awaiting my entry i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming this is force push the gauntlet there we go we got rare nice um i'm probably not gonna get legendary epic it's weird because epic is the best reward but like epic is usually purple like in fortnite and legendary is the best reward no legendary is the second best in black ops 4 who'll be making up these rules right now though yeah literally all you have to do to complete this trial is just freaking throw this thing in circles it's so funny you just freaking and also like look at the beam it's literally from like the sky man it's sick very unique wonder weapon for sure. Can't even hate. And so many people just don't even know about these, man. It's crazy. God tier wonder weapons. Wonder weaponies. Wonder weaponies. Okay. The dumb skis. Get me out of here. What if I take out the Blight Father? Does that count? Oh, yeah. This is where the damage is. Oh, he's got me in Dying Wish. But you know what? I've got him in a chokehold, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We now have the epic. Let's go 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 game. So just don't want to die here. Boom! Okay, so we melee in here, and there's three oil spills that we have to take out. And so I think I can do them all at once. I don't think I have to come back for all of them. Right here. Uh, the next oil spill is right here. And then the last one is right here. So you just shoot this thing down here. And then go in here, and then look for the blue-eyed gamer. And when you see him, you shoot him. Kind of have to do this one fast. And if you miss, I feel like you have to restart the step. Um, Blue-Eyed Gamer? Blue-Eyed Gamer. Blue-Eyed Gamer? Oh, we're done. Okay, so that's that stuff. Uh, but essentially now, so now you have to trap a wheel next to another wheel. And there's three of these things around. I'm going to throw a homunculus just so I don't get absolutely bullied. There's one over here too. And there's like, you have to hit it right when it's on the wheel, which I literally just missed because I didn't see it. It's hard to see it as well, I feel like. I got it. Okay. Lovely. Um, okay. No, I think I ran past this one. This one is like, where is this one? It's like in a weird spot. Ah, it's right here. Yeah. And this one's pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> this one's pretty, pretty easy. Completely misses. Even twice. How about, how about number three? Oh, we got it on the third time. So now, there we go. I did not miss that time. We got it. Okay, so here there's something we have to shoot. Yeah, it's right there. There's going to be another one right here that spawns. And there's going to be another one right there. Yes, sir. And then there's my Giganese Gamer. We're going to bring this Giganese boy back to the Ankh. We go, boy. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna start putting some shots into bro. Uh, and then once he starts doing that shield attack, there we go. Now he's gonna do it. Yeah, and so there goes the onk, and now we can bullied, 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 bullied. Please get bullied. Please get bullied. The Spitfire is what I gotta rely on here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then he has a spear which I can take. Okay, now I have the Ankh too. So now the spear goes down here and we need electrical zombies uh, to basically start, even start these steps. There we go. And so now, but this starts another step. So basically I have to hit this blue symbol. One, two, three. I got it that time. I got it on the right one. Did I get it? I don't even know. I think I did. I can't tell because there's freaking 500 zombies on it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's literally just counting to make sure it matches along this yellow line. And then that's it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Done! Video gaming! But essentially what's going to happen now is I'm going to activate this trap. Give you the onk. Give you the hand. And this is what will start it up. Let's also activate the Pegasusers right here. Basically, we just need to take out any Skelly, and that's pretty easy when you got the Helion Salvani. Um, is that a nuke? Yes, please. That bro does not affect the nuke. Basically, yeah, he just has to finish a symbol. Oh my gosh. I think I did it. Wow, I did it first shot. That's pretty impressive. Usually that step is way more difficult, but first shot gameplay. Let's go, baby. Okay, so the hit your mark step easily is also one of the coolest Easter egg steps ever in COD Zombies as well. This Easter egg step is so unique um, because basically we just go up to the here, this area, and just spam these boys. Let's go bow, 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 bow. Love this step, bro. It's just, it's so easy. You just run to the spotlight, shoot some of them in the crowd, run to the next spotlight, shoot some more in the crowd, and then this one's probably going to be a charge up where I just go. And then you run back, and then that's it. You do that a couple times, then we're good. Another charge up one, huh? Yes, sir. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, whoops. Miss you. Boom. Let's go. This one's probably up in the crowd. No. It's boom, 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 boom. Lovely. And that's probably the last one. And then I dip, huh? Yes, sir. It's cool because none of the zombies go for you. I love it. Like, it's such a just chillax step up there. Yep. Get them boys. Come over here. Charge that boy up. Mm, yes, sir. Okay. Get them boys up there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go. We did it, baby. Look at that. This is always so cool. I like that. It just kind of flies out. Because now we have to hit this thing in this room in a specific symbol order. You might be talking, saying like, what the frick is bro talking about? Let me show you. So you go up to this, you shoot this symbol, then this symbol, then this one, then this one, that one, and then that one. And then what we do here is we place the Pegasus strike down. And so my boy Pegasus is over top of this thing and he literally conjures up a freaking crossbow from the middle of nowhere. It's so wild. Like it's really cool they do make you use a lot of your stuff here and then literally right here we have to realign the crossbow so i think there we go go through here hit that with the blue fire and then you just basically have to hold it and run out and then i think we just tp back and it should still be there so then tp and then yeah the trap is literally right here so we just have to like run it for run in it for just a little bit and now it's on fire with like acid as well and literally boom fire we set her freaking hair on fire she goes ooh. and then literally it is time for the boss fight ladies and gentlemen let's go where is my boy okay so wherever the lightning is that is where he's gonna be so yeah it is cool because like you literally can just lock on and i think we get him right here yeah the helion is absolutely insane and then literally the reason why you run the staff is so you can just like spam knife him pretty much like this that's pretty good okay there we go let's freaking melee this boy over and over and over 
Come on, brother. Get on out of here, boy. Okay. And I think that could be it for Pegasus, unless there's one more. Yep. No, it's it for Pegasus. No. Pegasus! -er! Bro's getting bullied. And now he's super, he's super god tier. Yeah, look at this. So now both of the islands are gone, and now it's just me and Big Bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess not. I guess I'll just take him out then. Okay, let's see if we get him. Let's see if we get him. Oh yeah, Chakram's definitely would have been the better play, I think. Now he's coming down. Come on down again, brother. This should not take that long, let me tell you. Okay, he's throwing another one. He's being cheeky. Right when I already have it, dog. I'm waiting for his lightning attack. And then as soon as he's come down, this last Asian evil, I'm gonna bully him. Get on down here. Okay, there we go. Okay, bully this man, bully this man. Boom, boom. Take him out, baby. Melee him to death. Melee him to death. Bully him. He will be no more. I think we got him. I'm just, I'm not gonna stop hitting. I'm not gonna stop hitting. GG, and there we go. We get the key as well, the Oracle key. GG's. She, she, she deceiving y'all, bruh. But ladies and gentlemen, that is Ancient Evil. Let's get into the next ones. This is going to be my first Easter egg attempt ever solo of this map. I have never completed this map's Easter egg solo. And it's just because I genuinely hate this map so much. I'm also going to need some codes, and I think there's a code down here. So that code is 9337. Uh, so what is here? Our code is 2880. Um, I'm shocked I actually even found all the parts so freaking fast. Also, this is our next code, 30,027. Okay, can I just freaking throw these in? No, he's just gonna yap for a bit. Rushmore, just shut your mouth and let me put the codes inside it, okay? Who are you? Soviet? Cuban? Chinese? No, I'm actually Canadian, if you can believe it. I know, right? Now okay, 7626. Bro, so you let me put the three numbers in, but not the last number. What the frig is going on? Okay, there's the first one. 3027 is the next one. Okay, I'm going to give it to you if you just shut your yap for four seconds. You just shut your yap and I'm going to give it to you, dog. Oh my gosh, this guy's a yapper. Thank you, Luna. Okay, this one's 9337 now. Oh, this is going to, this is so annoying, dog. 9337 2880. There we go, G. Let's go. We got it. F0930, okay. C one zero one five C one zero one five D zero eight one five D one one three zero B zero four four five Is that it? I guess that's it. Okay. So F is what? Nine thirty. So we gotta switch it to nine thirty G. This is nine. Freaking click it. There we go. That should be it. So C is next. 1015 here. It is one more. There we go. 1015. Uh, now the next house is D, which was on this side for sure. And D is 815. They're pretty close. It's just like hitting this clock is so, so finicky. One more. There we go. E 1130. 1130. 11 dang 30. Two more. Two more, sir. There we go. B is 445. Let's let's flip this thing quick. Can you all just piss off for one second? 445. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the code is 545. So 0545. 0545. Done. Okay. We did it though. Access denied to the APD. Ah, my brother! Bro, you better not shoot that whatever the frick that is at me, dog. How dare you? Okay. And then this bro leaves through here, right? What a bizarre freaking Easter egg step. Bro is actually insane. Oh, 
I cannot tell a lie. Okay, so now we gotta find good old Sergeant 80 AM. Mm, my good old man, Sergeant. Yep, so we gotta get this brother. Come on over. Loose lips sink ships. Who the frick is bro talking about? Okay, yeah, and I remember. Adam, get over here! Adam! Get over here, dude! What the frick are you doing? Waste your time like that. Yeah, so I need bro to come over here and just talk some smack to Marlton behind the door. Marlton, you a, you a little, you a little dinker stinker dog. Now we have the canister, and I just think we just place it here. That's pretty much it. Yeah, there we go. Gotta play some telepads for this Easter egg set. One right here, and then one right over on the end there. Oh, yeah, this is where I need the lightning guy to get hit. So literally, I just wait for an electric guy to come over here, shoot this thing, and then we're good. Sergeant 80 AM, it's time to pack it up, my mans. You, you are free to leave at any time, sir. I hope you know that. You are just... You're playing the game for me, my friend. Oh, it's an electric guy. Please go away. Did he go away? Adam, are you gone? Tell me you're gone, Adam. Oh, yes, he is. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. Shoot this bad boy, brother. Shoot it! He missed, you literal... You little dinker stinker. Okay, grab it. Go! Oh, baby. More codes? Are you out of your mind? Okay, here we go. So our first one is here. I don't think that worked. Oh, there we go. Six, four, three, zero. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's what's the? I can't even see the freaking number. Oh, what the frick is the? Oh, eight nine two two. There we go. My brain rotters. Three seven. What is that? Get out of my way, G. I can't. I. It's just blood, dog. Why? Why do they have blood? Three seven four eight. Okay. Six four three zero. Then 8922. Why do they do this one minute stuff, dog? Okay. Three, seven, four, eight. There we go. Oh, here we go. Upwards. Nice. And storage is that. There you go. And then we gotta do. This is such a small. Right here. And there we go, baby. We're back online. Okay, let's get it. <coughs> oh, there we go. There's now one more core value deal, and that's absolutely take down the AI. Oh, the mannequin literally just appears from the ground. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is our first one. Um, I don't know. Like, when does this end? Oh, it just it just blows up. Bro just said, "That's it. I'm out. Peace." Oh, I see him. This broken necked man. Look at him. Oh my gosh, this thing is freaking getting bullied, dog. Okay, well, I'm out. Apparently, there's like six of these that I have to do for these lockdowns. Why are there so many? I don't even know if those acid bombs are any good. Did bro die? It's so weird. Like, it doesn't even give you, like, any visual cue. Bro just freaking disappears, bro. Okay, last one's gonna be at the transfusion facilities. Let's see if this brother's spitting facts. Um, cause he could be, he could be very well spitting some factuals. Sir, yes, sir. I think he's right over there. Let's get it. There we go. Justice for all. What the frick are you talking about, brother? Duck and cover. No, no, no. Don't say that. That's the gauntlet name, bro. Don't say that. No, no, no. Don't even say, don't even think about that, bro. It's funny that the American zombies map, the world record is held by a Canadian. Like, you gotta think about that. That's, that's poetic. That is legitimately poetic. Okay, and then we build Peter Mc... Peter Mc... Peter! Peter McCain, Peter! Peter, come get your McCain, Peter! Okay, we're gathering, we're gathering, we're going and we're gathering, we're going and we're gathering. Explode, collect, repeat. He'd be spitting, explode, collect, repeat, explode, collect, repeat. There we go, Peter. Peter! I know who you are. Barucked! Whoa! Ultimus Dempsey quote. Ultimus Dempsey knows him. That's sick. 
Okay, so it's either top of yellow or at the beds. Let's hope it's top of yellow. Uh, this is probably best for me to run undead man here, huh? No, it's at beds. Is it right here? Yep, there it is. There it is. Uh, honestly, yeah, undead man, this dog. I don't think it needs, um, yeah, it doesn't need souls. That's cool. True. Freedom is not free unless you know Jesus Christ, man. Dude, this guy's spitting. He actually knows his stuff, bro. Can't even lie. Okay, well, I get why I'm running Undead Man Walking, because Undead Man Walking on the step is an absolute godsend. Bro does not need a single soul. You literally just have to walk with him like a freaking... A parent holding their child's hand? Let me hold your hand, Elemental Orb. Why is this even an Easter egg step? I don't even freaking know, my guy. Like, this has been a whole minute of me just walking this bro around freaking Nuketown. You ever seen this before? You ever play Call of Duty Black Ops 1? I mean, dang, G. Oh, bro, give me that extra time up in there, bro, dog. Let's go. This is just easy peasy lemon squeezy up in here, B. Where is he actually gonna go? He, he goes back to Peter and Kane, right? I think that's... can't even remember, dog. Like, I've literally done this Easter egg, like, under five times, I'm pretty sure. I think this is literally where he goes. Yeah, I mean, where else would he go? Where else would he go, bro? We about to give this man some newfound life or something. Here we go. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Hey, he's in the orb. Okay, so now it's boss fight. This is going to be the first time I've ever done it solo. ADM units. Destroying ADM near the APDs will complete the charging process. I see. Let's start up the Easter egg, baby. Start up that dang boss fight. Let's get it. I don't know how many we have to do. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, we've got to do as many as we can, I guess. Okay, I guess they're only filling up here. Doesn't matter how far I shoot them, too. The souls always count. Okay, so yeah. Legit, just you got to get her done. Are we done now? Oh, this boy's coming out the dang hole. Oh my gosh, look at the lock on that thing, bro. Oh my gosh, that thing too bright. That's too dang bright. Look at this boy. Dang, he really talking like he all that. Avogadro. He's a bro, such a little dinker stinker dog. Ted, you need to help me out up in here, dog. What the frick are you doing just looking at me like that? Uh, anything cray cray? Honestly, not really. I don't even want that. Bro, it hits. Oh my gosh. Bro, oh my dude. Yeah, you cannot stand still. Oh my gosh. Bro does not know when to give up. Okay, yeah, as long as I'm moving, that should be more important. I'm like not getting like any souls, I feel like. Oh my gosh, bro is a freaking menace. Oh my gosh. It's mainly just about avoiding his electricity. Oh my gosh. Is it not done? How many, bro? Wait, is that it? You just run out now? Oh, now you gotta get out. I see. Okay, so there's lounge. Let's go diner. It's so interesting because when I did this co-op, it felt more action-packed, I guess, with just more people in these confined spaces. But this just makes me realize this is pretty much just a glorified soul box fill up, pretty much. Yeah, because I feel like on co-op, you definitely get more spawns. Oh, it absolutely is. Cooldown required? Wait, what? You can turn it off and get a cooldown on? That's so freaking dumb. Let's just game it. Let's just game it. Bruh, get out my way. Bro, tell me it's done. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but you can basically like, trap them on the side. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro does not let up, dog. Oh my gosh, bro just freaking tp You actually used to respect me, dog? What, what, what the frick was that? It was not in transit, let me tell you. Bro hits like a truck if you get close to him. Um, yeah, we gotta dip. We gotta dip. We gotta go back to that 8BD, baby. Yeah, this is such a bizarre step. You, like, shoot him back in. Oh, my gosh. This is so funny looking. There we go. That's... Is that it? Is that really the whole Alpha Omega Easter egg? First time doing Alpha Omega solo. Honestly, I mean, it's a pretty easy egg, but just, like, pretty tedious, I think. Please accept the shard. W. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Alpha Omega done. Great. Let's go. Just talked with Toten now. This is it. The final Black Ops 4 Easter egg. Call of the Dead is one of my favorite 
Call of Duty zombie maps and genuinely even though this map I do believe is worse than Call of the Dead it's still a very fun experience to me because this is always something that I've always wanted to see like what would Call of the Dead look like or play like in a modern COD zombies game and that's pretty much exactly what this is and so it's really cool I have not done this Easter egg in a long time and so this is going to be interesting to see if I'm like actually able to do it i'm really ending black ops 4 up with missy right now this is wild i just realized that that's uh, that's crazy okay power's fully on now chat the last time i played this was when i said wake up wake up wake up that's when the meme started bro on togger totem what a map what a map to wake up on the very last one man yeah we're doing the trials now we do have to only do two of the trials we don't have to do all five um, Dang, Misty spitting facts. I didn't even think of that. I have a feeling. Yeah, there it is. There's the ice skull. And there we go. Okay, so now this is done. Next is the PP jars. I have uh, some bottles that need to be emptied. Oh, you can legit just do this with a tier three of this. Oh, that's dumb busted. Dang, look how fast she moved too. Wow, and I still have it. Wow, that is definitely really, really cool. Okay. Um, that's one. Oh my gosh, bro. Just like, how did they even record this noise? Like, somebody, somebody at Treyarch went up to the auto team and was like, okay, we have PP jars. You need to make the sound of PP swirling in a jar. And it's just like, no. No, I don't need to do that. I would have freaking quit right then and there, my G. Um, and yeah, we have the last one. And then we also still have to bring the gear box back up. And then get the Samantha boxes too. Okay, there we go. All the PP gone now. We don't even stand a chance. Okay, I'm legit going to use all my Matroiskas for this. So we basically just like insert these keys. And now we get a lockdown. Okay, yeah, Matryoshkas, you're going to... I, honestly, I really like the animations of the Matryoshka for Tog. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, just not when it freaking bullies me, though. Oh, sheesh, boy, get out of there. Get yourself out of there. Oh, too bad there's no freaking snowballs, bro. Why are you all coming at the wrong time? Yeah, they were pretty good, to be honest. They kind of carried. Oh, he's dodging and weaving. Okay, treat with respect. Okay, bro, but honestly, this weapon is so kaka. One more, brother, what you got? Piece of cake? You better be not lying to me, dog. Standing still? Oh, yeah, he is, he is saying it's a piece of cake. No, Brain Rot, why you gotta do me like this? Does Brain Rot count? Oh, Brain Rot is counting my elims while I'm standing still. Oh, that's freaking goaded. Okay, keep up, keep going. Keep going off. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Is it done? No, now it's done. Okay, okay. Will you give me a reward key? Thank you. Let's go get yo soup ingredients now, boy. There's one right there. Now is the food house the kind of place you'd keep your Garth and device? No, but it is the type of place you would keep some soup ingredients. Yeah, like meat. Oh, it is on the floor. What the frick is going on up here in Miami, dog? Okay, so add, boom, done. There we go. The animation of it is very cool though. Okay, so we got the dials. Let's begin. So the dial goes here, and the dial goes here, and this one goes there, and then this one goes here. We basically have to spin it until it dings. It dings on nine, that one, okay? This one dung on seven. Six. There we go. And now bro is going insane. Apothecum blood. Brave destruction, but pain. We are in great pain. Well, what, what do you want me to do about that, huh? What do you want me to do about that? Find us offerings three. Okay. Othna, where mountains throw. So I got to go up to the top of the freaking map. There we go. Where north is found. Okay. So this one's going to be here somewhere. Oh, yeah. There it is. There's the skull. Done. Where lungs close. Okay, so I remember where that one is. To this thing right here. It's a little jawbone, bro. Wow. These offerings blaze us. Oh, good, bro. It took me a bit to find him. Okay. 
Okay, my my seal of duality, lovers. Okay, well, we're gonna restore it where humans suffer. Okay, and the walls where humans suffer. Okay, okay, we're gonna do it. Okay, where it at though? It should be a safe somewhere here, right? Oh, look at that, I remembered. I, let's get it. Yes, okay, I'm taking it, Nikolai. And I think we bring us our vessel. There we go, brother, I got you. I do have to shoot this thing around now a couple times. Okay, retrieve what we have lost. Oh, actually, no, I need the snowball still. Yeah, because now there's going to be orbs around the map, and I just have to, like, throw a snowball at them and then bring them back. It's, it's a very bizarre Easter egg set. Looking for orbs. Oh, see, there's one literally right there. And so all I have to do is bore it, like, gets too far. Yeah, it literally just boom. Boom! Is it below? What the heck? I've never seen that spot in my life. Oh my gosh, what the frick did you do to get there, my guy? This boy is there. Boom bada bing. Tame the blood. So we put this boy here. And then we uh, throw my throw some Samantha boxes on it. Yeehoo! Does she? There we go. Okay, she did do it. So, to answer Nikolai's question about what I really want, I just want my happy ending. True. Yeah, and you're gonna die, okay. XDDD. Now we gotta go back to Pablo Maribus. And he's gonna give us the stones, which we basically just fiddle around with on the map. Uh, bro's got us fiddling. Uh, yeah, bro. Definitely, I'm just remembering that there's like, there's like lockdowns in this. We're gonna get to some lockdowns. Oh yeah, it's gonna get bad. But as long as I have Winter's Whale, we should be chilling. Okay, so now we need to come down to the bottom of this area. And basically, we just place it down and use a trap. Okay. So those are now stepped down, and the trap needs to now go on. Yeah, this trap is a little uh, questionable because it's like the zombies don't even go towards it. So you know, it's like what, what the frick is even going on here? But hey, man, we we love we love Togger Oh, these boys about to die. Y'all better y'all better get in here. Is that lighthouse trap about to burn the house down? What the frick is going on up in there? Let's get the stone. And so yeah, this this stone step is like you need to have a fire. But so now both are set on fire. We can pick them up. To the facility. I'll never get old of the zip lines, man. I love zip lines and zombies. It's like one of the best mechanics, in my opinion, ever. There's, so, it's so cool. One needs to be perpetually on fire, and the other does not need to be. There we go. Oh, bruh. It's a little, uh, little bit glitchy. Okay. Just waiting for that trap to be done. Then we can pick up the rock and place it. Stone cold. There we go. So there we go. Okay, so we got the fuse though. And then now we need to shoot the things by going back up. So fuse cannot be powered. There's one up here. And then there's that one. How people found this, I don't even get. Okay. Oh. Oh, I actually got that one. Okay, I was about to say, let's go. So that's one out of three generators. We just need this one and then the one by the lighthouse trap. Okay, so and then we'll get the elemental shard. Repeat the step. Uh, oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, and there we go. There we go. Elemental shard. Okay. So now, I'm just gotta shoot this thing a couple times. I just hate how it like auto locks to the zombies. Yeah, are these shots even counting? I don't even freaking know. Okay, there we go. None. Oh, okay, there's one in talk here. Nice. That's one. Okay. Okay, that's two. 
dog. Oh my gosh, there it is. What the frick? That, why did they make, they made these freaking difficult, dog. So there's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Lovely. There we go. We love seeing it. We love seeing it. Okay, there we go. And so now we have to give the seal of duality back to Pablo Marinus. And then we're pretty much done this Easter egg. Now we're on to the hard part. So this is going to be exciting. So let me give you the Agartha device, Pablo. Here we go. Yeah, and I don't think this lockdown, you have to take out everything, but you definitely have to survive. I remember doing this on like round 100 and it was almost like freaking impossible, dog. Oh, big, big nuke. Big nuke. Oh, that nuke definitely came through. Okay, I'm gonna leave one Samantha. Okay, we are now done. Okay, so now we have to place the seal of duality inside of pap and yeah Unfortunately, this is now the end of being able to pap But I should be totally fine because I mean I literally have the mog like what's even the big deal? So There we go the seal of duality and I think it takes souls, right? Yeah So we're we're now filling up souls for the each of the paps and then we like literally break each of the pack bunch machines It's so wild and then there we go. Fill that boy up. Fill him up. Fill him up. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, that one's done. Nice. We go to the next one. ABH. Oh, that's just the worst ABH I've literally ever done in my whole life. Okay. There we go. Oh, it does, I think. Okay, yeah. There's Insta. Where's that next pap? I mean, that's what I'm saying, girl. We're gonna get a max ammo eventually. Uh, I think we might even get one just before the actual lockdown starts, or if we beat all these top uh, things. It just, it's not it. Okay. Sheesh, boy. I'd be struggling, I have no clue. Carpenter as well, didn't even have to buy that, but nah, man. Brain Rod also is really good on the Mog here. This is going to be probably, like, the best setup that I'll run. I could get a Thunder Gun, but to be honest, it's definitely not even that needed. Uh, now we have this. Okay. Okay, go off, King. Oh my gosh, bro, you are freaking giving me Aim Labs training up in here, dog. Oh my goodness, bro. My goodness. Or I think I don't have to like search for this one again, do I? Do not do such a thing. Thank you. Okay, the duality is resolved. They just they just do be saying random words, dog. She was capping the lighthouse beam. Let's go. And we are ready to absolutely destroy this. Uh, let's get some more Mog ammo though before we go. But yeah, honestly, I'm so glad we were able to do all of BO4. This game is definitely a marathon when it comes to the Easter eggs, but it is still so much fun. And I got to relearn a lot of these Easter eggs again because I have not done some of these Easter eggs now legitimately in probably over five years which is like kind of crazy to even just think about and now we just wait there's nothing oh we have to put the seal do out of the and now this starts the coolest part of the easter egg where the map literally goes from ice to fire laser i love this this is so cool yeah so now we just have to follow it and uh, give it souls and just not die. And yeah, basically you don't have to take them out really until you get to the points where you have to like start filling up souls, which is I feel like faster than you realize a lot of the time. This is, I think, one of those parts. Okay, there we go. 
Oh my gosh, yeah, this is insane because it's like it gives you the where the ice area was, but it's all lava. And you gotta like walk on these stones and like survive and stuff. This is so sick. You're practically doing parkour around Call of the Dead. I mean, like, I just wish this was didn't have to be like the finale of Ether because this is just so sick, regardless. Because I think it's just gonna start bringing me up to the zip line too, and that's when like things actually get scary. Uh, yeah, let's just shoot until they're all dead. Okay, yep, just like that, we're gaming. Okay, we're actually really close to being done, so I'm gonna get ready to pop this elixir. I still have my katana, which is nice. Yeah, and now we go down to the middle. Talking about regeneration is happening. Yeah, because this is where, like, the circle gets so small and you have to fill it up with souls and all sorts of nonsense. This step is absolutely madness. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Samantha. Okay, wow. Samantha actually just took them all out pretty much right there. Oh gosh, Samantha Box, go! And then Katana. Let's hit this Katana. Oh my gosh, what is that noise? Why it gotta be like that? Why it gotta make that noise? There we go, we did it! All right, and what I love about this final Easter egg step as well is you get to see the entirety of the map all lavaed out. It's genuinely so gorgeous. Like, now, the last step is we go back to Pablo Marius! Yes, sir. There's your seal. This is it, right? Wait. Yeah, look. Now he's back. And my name is Pablo Marinus. Look at him, bro. That is so sick. I've never even seen him up there. Wow, dang. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the finale of Black Ops 4. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, running through these Easter eggs are absolutely incredible. And it goes to show, like, BO4... As hard as these Easter eggs are, they definitely have some merit behind them. And I mean, we're about to see one of the best cutscenes in Call of Duty Zombies with the final. Here we go. Sheesh! Rest in peace, boys. We got absolutely blitz these lads. Look away at me. Boom. Yeah, I definitely think, like, the emotional weight of this moment definitely goes down because you just know that, like, Cold War is practically just, like, right around the corner. Yep. And that's it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm walking towards the light. Hey. What a, what a poetic ending, man, to all of these Easter eggs. Yeah, this ending went hard. I'm not going to lie. It's just like, I don't think we'll ever get these types of Easter eggs ever again, but still absolutely iconic experience. This is actually, I think my first time ever actually going through this dialogue in game. Great Easter egg ending. Ladies and gentlemen, that is every single Easter egg in Black Ops 4 Zombies. I did hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in that next one, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, this is every single Black Ops Cold War Easter egg, yes, starting with the Cold War. machine. Chat, I have to say, you might not like Cold War, but the Rampage Inducer is one of the best things they've added into this game. The ambience of this map with the power turned off is so cool. Wait, can I hit it? Oh, no, I didn't hit it. I didn't WR it. No, man. Yeah, this has got to be one of the easiest. This has got to be one of the easiest Easter eggs, I would say, of like all time. Let's do. No, genuinely, like. No! It's our lucky day, strike team. Okay. The book! Where's the book? Oh, this brute. Give it a book. Honest, I feel like... 
It's wild. Okay, that step is now done. And now we are just waiting. Chaos or Dark Ether? Chaos. Dark Ether. Chat, I'm going to be honest. Dark Ether's story is it's terrible. What is there to look forward to in Dark Ether? I do not care about what th they've set up with Dark Ether. I genuinely do not care. Dark Ether could have been so good. They had so many tools to make it just that good, but it, it just isn't. I don't even know you can get booted on PlayStation. You can get booted on any server that's fully online. I had, like, chat, you don't understand. I had somebody trying to get into my PS5 account. That is how, that is the level of, like, the Debauchery people are trying to get me in. It is ridiculous. I like to die. Chat, W or L Wonder Weapon? I think this is probably one of the better Wonder Weapons in Cold War. I like to die. The base die is a W. The upgrades? No thank you. Electric die isn't bad. Yeah, I agree. It's the best of the upgrades because it makes you run faster, which is probably not even like in the actual intended use of it. Okay, so I have the poison. Oh, I think you have to fully build these to get the portals, huh? Is that how it works? Any Lamborghini Fortnite uh, vehicle havers? Yeah, what a weird spot. You don't ever get it because it's just... Okie dokers, my lightning die lovers. Yes, sir. Okay, um, I honestly need... Whoa, he's cheating, he's hacking. He's running so fast. Mike, I need you to uh, do what you need to do here. Yes, yes. There we go. I don't know which one it is. I'll just shoot them all. <laughs> Wait, okay, one of them went up. I, th I still think this game is better optimized than BO4. And BO4 literally had a trailer for how well it was optimized, bro. Okay, we just have to get the ice now. Even worse? I don't even know. Oh, it's after the Dark Ether wrench set. We love my dark ether wrenchers. Get armor. Yeah, I should. Oh, I also low key need dark. dark, dark yeah, the sh ether shroud here. How long is this cutscene, fam? It did not need to be this long. Can you get booted on Cold War? Yes, you can. A lot of the later COD games are online only, and they need to stop doing that. It is such a bad idea. It's just, it's just never good. Wrench, my boy. That didn't work. You're telling me that did not. What is going on? No, what is going on? Did it fire? I love Easter egg steps where walking backwards is faster than walking forwards, brother. Literally, I'm only doing this because I'm looking at the minimap. <laughs> what kind of step is this dog? <laughs> okay, now it's it's mega megaton time. Yep. Now we split the megaton. Where's my megatonners? Hey. Penis! I got locked in. We love Easter egg cutscenes. Literally, next is just... Yeah, it's just the steps down here, right? What even is this step? Okay, my ring of fire lovers. I need you. Look how dark it is in here, bro. Oh my gosh, Mayak! Uh, boys, what should I grab? I'm gonna grab decoys and semtexes. Oh, and I need the death. I need the death machine. I need the death machine. Uh, boys, I think it's time. 
we're doing the Call of Duty Zombies E Strike boys uh, for these nuts machine. Am I gonna be able to finish it, boys? We gotta, we gotta protect Mr. Orlov, big man's. Here we go, brother. We gonna throw him up. We gonna suck him down. We gonna get him up. We gonna round and round, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 hey. That's Fat Albert. Let's go, boys. Oh, sh are you? Oh, no. Chat. There's literally no way. There's literally. Do I die? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Chat. I never back down. I never back down. I never back down. I love Call of Duty. I never back down. That was pretty fire. I mean, that was a pretty legendary finish, boys. D machine out of the building. Bro, I do not play enough this map. Chat, legitimately, this is probably like my 15th time playing this map. Is this a campaign map? Pretty much every map after D machine is a campaign map. So literally all this Easter egg really boils down to is can I get the Ray K out of the trials? I will never do the upgrade of this in my whole life. More common from box? Is it actually? Chat, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like the Cold War box is horrendous. The box in this game, I feel feel like it never gives you anything that you want. Give me common. Hey, we got common. I'll take common. Okay, that's one. Are you doing outbreak? No. This is round based only. Round based only IMO. Want to chat for you? I think this is a skip. Oh my gosh. But why does the mimic look better in Firebase E than in Modern Warfare 3? Why does it actually look better? I did not realize they look that different. It's just because I never play Firebase Z. That's actually like insane to me. They look so different. Bro, like look at this mimic. He actually looks way better than in than in the Modern Warfare 3 version. You would think they would have just ported the same thing, but somehow they made it actually even look worse. Uh, I'm gonna get all the perks also. Wait, what's next in the Easter egg? I talked to Ravenov now, right? Bro, I'm gonna stay in here the whole time and it's not even gonna give me- Oh, I was about to say... Mm, mm, mm. Ravenov these nutters. And he gives me a card, right? Or do I go back to pack? Oh, is that is it? Oh, I just go to pack now. Does he, doesn't he give you a card? Or is that later? I have I have done the Firebase Z Easter egg under 10 times. So 110%. Hello. No more games, Peck. So, wait, can I just go nah, back and do this now? Can you skip the dialogue? No way, bro. Got the yeah. fastest cold while speedrunning. Are you serious? Are you serious? I have. I didn't even know that this was. That was a thing. I'm. I'm definitely not gonna hit any sort of record because I. I'm so bad at the mimic stab. Any day now, brother. Bro's got muscles. Can't lie, Ravnov. We missed those muscles in MW3. Bring those muscles back, my guy. Is it me or is like the voice dialogue not matching with the body? Yeah, there's that one. There's one near Jug, I remember. Oh, where are these? And there's one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, bro, this is coming back to me. Oh my gosh, it's coming back to me. All the knowledge is flooding. It's coming back to me. And then you... Wait, how do you... Oh, I'm already doing it. Oh yeah, this one's Hellhounds for some reason. How many Gucci belts do you own? Zero and proud. Okay, so what do we do now? What is next? Because now it's just peck yapping. Is this, is it Mimic Step now? Oh no. Oh no. Bro be yapping and yapping and yapping. And you know what else? Yapping. We love my man just simply yapping. Doesn't he give you a card? I thought you have to use a card to even get this. He doesn't he give you another card. I, I, this is the part I don't remember. You have to interrupt him. Oh yeah, you do. 
I'm so confused. Like, doesn't he give you a card? Right, the truth is, this man does nothing but yap. How do Twitter users like Peck? It's the mo this guy's the most annoying character. I literally think I prefer Marlton over Peck, dog. How do people like this character? I would literally punch you so fast if I could. Okay, so is it just open now? All that yapping for just waiting for a machine to open. Peck fans stronger than Swifties? Probably, bro. That's it? I just have to click F. Sokolov, Brahms, and Zabine. Mm, any Sokolov, Brahms, and Zabines lover? Oh, we got one here. He's so dead. How do you use the, the trap? How do you use this thing again? Oh, double tap. Okay. Easy W. Do you have to, um, do you have to swap rounds to get the next one to spawn in? I don't think you do, right? Can you just do them all? What PAP level should I have this M16 at for the boss fight? PAP 2 or PAP 1? I don't know. I don't even know what, what I should use for that boss fight, to be honest. 4, 5, punch. Can, like, 900 zombies not spawn? I did not know you could even do that. Dang, we're actually zooming. We're actually zooming. We're two out of three on this mimic step. Honestly, once you know that knife little tech, oh, it makes it so much easier. Chat, do I hit my reward? Do I hit my reward or do I risk it? I'm gonna grab speed cola and then get it. Pap, gallo for boss, it's goaded. Yeah, this is what I was expecting. Legit, where's the box? You said I can get it easy out of box. I better see this. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth! I have two M6. Why did they just give me two M16s? We are truly spitting for the Ray K in the box. It's not happening. People say there's a better chance to get it in the box. That's straight up cap. Yep. That is what I like to call straight up Caparino. Does he get got? Does he get got like that? He gets got like that. Dang! Mimic step! Three for three right there. Let's go. I don't even know what the next Easter egg step is. Does anybody know? The can it's can is it can are we on canisters already? Really? Are you telling me I didn't do it? What? Wait, where? I thought I got them all. Probably got mimic bug. Wait, so I have to do it again? Oh my gosh, this map needs to legitimately burn. Place this map next to Alpha Omega, please God. What is going on, man? So I have to end the round? It was, thi it was this mimic, right? Or would it... Could it give me another... Like, the fact that these are still here proves to me that it's this mimic. Unless... Wait, do I have to do all of them again? I'm so confused. I literally did this step perfectly. It's just the game is broken. How do you even make get a glitch that does this? Bro, they're not in spawn. Oh, it's this guy. It's this guy. It's not him? How do you know that? How do you know that? Wait, how do you know that? Well, too late. Uh, I believe you now. We love Firebase Z bugging out okay i honestly think that that spawn mimic was actually the right one. Oh my gosh this map is belligerent yeah that was the right one. Oh, come on oh my gosh where's the where's the trap where's the trap pick it up 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 Oh, I got it. I got it. Soft. Is this the worst step in all of Cold War zombies? I think it is, chat. Like, there's no worse Easter egg step than this in Cold War. That's what we need to the second? The second? Wait, he said that's the second, and it just gave me... What is going on? Wait, wait, I haven't done it? Wait, wait, what do I need to do? The pack near the box? Wait, chat, what's the step? I have no idea what step I'm on. Beside the dome. You're... Oh, it's this stupid computer, I remember. Where's that stupid thing? This thing. What a dumb step. I literally hate this map. I don't know why. This map is just not fun to me. This and Alpha Omega, I feel the exact same way. I'm just like, why am I even wasting my time doing this? You need Ray K for next step. Yeah, it's for the canisters. But I can do the canisters in any order, though. 
My gosh, the dialogue in this map. Just get over it, bro. Like, you're just sitting and sitting and waiting and sitting and waiting and sitting and sitting and sitting. Just get on with the game, bro. Oh my gosh. It's actually so annoying. Let's do this step first now. I'm pretty good with this step. Usually I get it pretty fast. I think we littered that one. Is it literally this one? Yeah, it is. You know you want to give me the right hit. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, this weapon is so stiff. I've noticed that in modern COD Zombies, like, the Wonder Weapons feel so stiff. Like, they don't actually even feel that great to use. The Axe and Forsaken is cool, but it's the only cool modern Wonder Weapon. I really like the Cerberus, too. The Cerberus, I think, is really good, too. Okay. We're done! Let's go. You think the blue Gallo is better than the purple M16? Are you serious? Do you actually think that? Should I genuinely go pop the blue Gallo? You know? Sheesh. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll buy the dang Gallo. I'm just waiting on dialogue. Oh my gosh, this Easter egg is terrible. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This Easter egg has aged so poorly. It's just, it's just yap. It's just yap the Easter egg. There we go. Bro, like, why even give her a katana if we don't use it in the game? Dog, like, now when I look at her, I'm just, I just get pissed, man. I'm just like, bro, like, she has all this cool stuff on her operator. We don't use it in the dang game. Just don't even add it. Don't even add it at that point. Treyarch, dog. There is just no way I just did that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, what a map. Firebase Z, man. What a map, dog. How long should I stay in spawn here? Round four or round five? Round 10 and Xville. Easter egg complete. Nah, man, this map's got a good boss fight, bro. You can't even hate. The Valentina boss fight is very good. It's one of the better boss fights I've seen from Treyarch. M meanwhile, MWZ, big red worm. My hot take, Valentina is the only good boss fight in this game. Kingman, you don't like Legion? I'm shocked. I think Legion is... Did he just say better than sex? What am I playing? Legion is time gated plus RNG based. Wait, how is it RNG based? I don't know about that. Uh, wait, wh entirely RNG? Wait, how? The time around Legion makes it cool? I mean, I don't like time boss fights. I, d I don't know how it's RNG though. I have no idea. Legion is only damageable in four spots, and when he goes to those spots, it's random. Really? I didn't even know that. that one holds power over the others. I would oh, thank you, God. Just give it to me. Okay. Samurai Shampoo, I have not finished. It is definitely on my bucket list to finish. That is one of those animes I want to finish. Okay, please, God, just give me the Krasn. I was that far ahead, too. Like, that's kind of crazy. Okay. Wait, did it drop the battery? Oh, I was about to say it. Did it not drop the battery? This, watching speedrunners do this step is very impressive, in my opinion. Because, like, they're able to get all the Klaus upgrades literally within, like, one usage. <laughs> now what? Klaus is number two best AI next to Ted. One in chat if you agree. Second best AI next to Ted. Can I actually do this all at once? Klaus literally just... Get to the upgrade, dog. I don't think I get this upgrade in time. Did I put the satellite dish? In? I did. Okay. What are y'all doing? What is going on? Klaus! Oh, he's gone. Seven. 
lovely. And now we win. We got the Cerberus. It's it's GG. We win now. How, bro, need, bro, how many more does he need? Bro, like you, we have literally been here for like two rounds. I don't know how he still needs more. Get in there! Get in there! What? I activated Ether Shroud and died? Okay, Klaus. Lovely! Oh my god! Look at this madness! Love these little skips with this man. You should stream Overwatch for a little bit. That's another game that I genuinely think has. I guarantee you, Overwatch doesn't exist in five years. I feel like Overwatch is actually F. Like, there's no hope for that game. OW1 was so good. I agree. I would do anything to get OW1 back. OW OG OW1 was absolutely phenomenal. I need to get the headgear parts. I know there's one up here. Where are the other ones, y'all? Do y'all remember? Then there's this one. Lovely. Pick it up! What can we expect from Fortnite Zombies? Basically, I want to recapture the magic while adding in some fun things that I think COD Zombies could have always had. And so, like, uh, my goal, honestly, is to start with Kino and then get to, like, Rev. Kino, Kino to Rev is the goal, but if I could even do BO4 maps too, that would be pretty sick in my opinion. When would this come out? Well, it, it, it would start off slow. We would start off just with one map being Kino and just slowly update it, but actually update it like every week, every month with just new content and stuff. That to me, I think is like the actual cool part. Would you remaster Alpha Omega? Um, no, I would not. If I if I do do a remaster like that, I would love for it to actually be like something unique and fun and cool. Who's making it? So there's two developers that have already made a Nocturne Toten clone on Fortnite that got cease and desisted by Activision, and I'm working with them. I'm very excited. When I see Activision handing out cease and desist to a Fortnite server, to me it shows that they're scared. And honestly, they deserve to be scared because they don't they don't put the quality content in the game that they should. So in my opinion, this is more than fair. How will you dodge Activision from busting y'all's balls? Just like how Power World is dodging Nintendo. You make it similar enough, but different enough at the same time. So the judge, because ultimately it comes down to the judge. What does the judge say? Does the judge say it's too, it's too. Wait, what did I just do? Did I place the uranium? Oh, I did. Oh, and chat. So an initial idea is that we want to make Kino but we're gonna totally restylize it. And I think the idea that we have so far is literally to restylize it in the way that like we wanna make Kino overgrown, grassy, give it that like Fortnite look, maybe a bit rocky too. Have it like that 1950s style as well. Oh boys, it would it would be goaded. And chat, imagine on Unreal Engine 5, it would look so good. Um, Did I not do the step? Wait, did I not do the step? Wait, I'm so confused. Did this step glitch? Wait, chat, what's going on? Wh why did this- Why did it not work? What is going on? It's up here. Wait, how do I get up there then? Wait, how do I get up there? I'm sh I don't- I don't understand why it dropped then. I'm very confused. I knew you could solve impossible puzzles. Who the frick is Gorev? Who are you? Who the frick is this? Never heard of this name in my life. Chat, unfortunately, I cannot do BO4 Easter eggs online. My 
Raptor 1, chill. Chill, look at this dialogue, bro, chill. Well, actually, you know what? I can just eat the shroud this here. Oh, I need mule kick. I need mule kick. Does this start the boss? Oh, I'm effed. I'm an idiot. I did not realize this starts the boss. Okay. <laughs> the reason you need mule kick for this is to get ammo. That's pretty much what it boils down to. Chad, they need to make more boss fights like this in the Voyager Despair boss fight, where it's like five phases and they're like actually engaging and different and fun. Oh, there we go. Bye bye. Weird that Insta doesn't do more damage to her either. Am I really out of ammo? Bro, this is what I'm saying. Like, how am I not? Okay, I was about to say, how am I not second phase yet? That's second phase, right? Yay. Do I triple path? Frick, I don't even care. I'll do it. Oh, it's 30,000! I forgot! It's not 15,000! Oh my gosh, why is it so expensive in this game? I actually fully forgot. I fully forgot it was that expensive. How are you? I was about to say, bro. Yeah, mule kick in this game is so busted. It just it just basically gives you infinite ammo. Mule kick got the biggest glow up. It really did. Oh god. Are you winning, son? I am! I'm on phase three of the boss. It's gotta be close. How are you still in this? There we go. Now she's done. Uh, I guess I ring of fire this one then. The most busted ability in this game is ring. Absolutely busted. Where's the ammo? Where's the ammo? Where? Oh! Where's the ammo? Okay, I, I have. Done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Don't even talk to me, you're done. You're literally howling. I don't know. She done! GG's! Let's go, boys! Let's go! GG's for Mauer, man. Mauer's e egg is quite enjoyable, man. I always like doing this one. We're grinding today, but chat, we're gonna finish off with Forsaken today. I'm gonna take it there. What's Foreskin? I mean, the map you're playing right now, boys. This is Foreskin. Where's the button that I gotta click for the Easter egg? It's over here, right? Yeah. Click the button, chat! I mean, it's just that easy, chat. It's literally just that easy. We go right the fuck back down. Fuel tank required? Chat, how do I get the fuel tank? I don't know how to get the fuel tank. Oh, no. I forgot how to get the fuel tank. Come on, brothers. Y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna live. I know that shit. Please be here. Please don't be a Call of Duty game. It's gone. Fuck. Okay, so the wall is this thing. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Come on over, brother. Are you fucking joking me? Okay. I think I did what I needed to do, right? Okay, now I'm basically boss fight ready, right, chat? Holy shit. Honestly, I should triple pap the Chrysalax. Here go, boys, triple pap. Chat, what's a good kill streak for the boss? Honestly, I think I'm gonna get death. I'm gonna get death. Let's do it. 5,500 for speed. And honestly, chat, I think we're boss fight ready after that. I know they also have a Wonder Fizz after you do that, so F it. Here we go. We're boss fight ready. Build that, homie. Warming him up. The gas line! The gas line! Yes, sir, brother. We gotta fill him up. Also, get all the Ethereum. Look at this donkey boy. My boy needs some energy. He needs some of that energy. Lads, are we ready? I think we're ready. Confront the foreskin! Okay, what do I gotta do here again? I chat. Honestly, I forgot this boss fight. 
Oh, we got to fill up Maxis. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember. We got to fill up the Maxis. There we go. Hit him in the shoulder. Shoulder dead, brother. Shoulder dead. Come on. I got to fill your shit up. Get in here faster. Look at Sophia from Garage Krogi. Why the fuck is she here? Ain't nobody got a clue. I'm going to get your ass for that. I ain't going to let you do that shit to me, boy. Get your stupid ass. You stupid as hell. You stupid as hell. Look at your dumb ass. You stupid as hell. There we go, chat. 47 minute Easter egg. Boys, out of 10, we beat it. All Call of Duty Cold War Vanguard Easter eggs. I mean, Vanguard included here, boys. We did it all. That's every single one of them right then and there, boys. That's exactly what I love to see. Dimensional breaches are closing around the world, boys. Drake's in the chat. That's all it is.